Hello. And to whom this may concern? Today, suddenly, Archvale. Archvale is a 2D retro pixel animation RPG, Zelda-esque. If you saw footage of it, you'd be like, oh, this is an indie version of Zelda. The reason I'm playing it, it's also a mashup of Bullet Hell. Someone decided, you know what Zelda needs? Bullet Hell. I'm going to assume it's a Japanese developer, because the Japanese are absolutely obsessed with Bullet Hell. I'm not going to look it up to confirm whether I'm right or not. I'm just going to assume I'm right, because that's how you make sure you're right all the time. Do not confirm nor deny. So Archvale it is. Um, it's probably going to be harder than your average 2D pixel adventure, because Bullet Hell makes everything harder. That's its job. It's the Dark Souls of dinky indie games. Um, that's what we're doing. So without further ado... Archvale. Let me just get my chair correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a gorgeous poster, by the way. Check, let's... Wait, solar screen that. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, bring me back. Enough Archville poster. See, in case you thought I was bullshitting. Take up your weapon in this RPG bullet hell world and embark on a journey to right the wrongs from long ago. Only you can defeat the evil forces of undying guardians and reunite the world from the fabled Archville. Sounds like the usual shenanigans. A malicious and cruel king once ruled the land and terrorized all who faced him. Uh, with the fabled Arch to Archvale, he became the fodder for ghost stories and passed down mid- What the fuck? You alone can defeat the Undying and blah 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 blah. Kill the Shadow King. Groovy! That's exactly what I wanted to do. Kill some Shadow Kings. That is what I'm game to do tonight. It's actually the kind of game I felt like. What are... The reviews like? No achievements. Oh. Oh no. What? That was in 2021. Maybe they fixed it. Really fun gameplay and combat at first, but then you hit insane difficulty spikes. It's poor game design for a bullet hell when the screen becomes so filled with enemies and bullets you can't dodge anything. Okay. That sounds like um, whinging that game too hard for noob. Or is that unfair? Okay, watch me play it now. I'll get my ass handed to me. The music is fantastic and the pixel art is incredible. I love more casual bullet hell games, so this is what some would consider a casual bullet hell game. Groovy. Beat the game in about 11 hours. I will do the same. Hopefully shorter. Really laggy. Wow, really? I hope that's not laggy. Laggy is not a good sign for a bullet hell. Really fun, spent 18 hours to finish it. Whoa, dude. Still no achievements for PC. Please fix. Hmm. Hmm. I'm concerned. There are achievements here, though. Let's let's just let's just double check. Uh, arch fail PC. Achievements? Wait. Wait, we got an update here. PC release via Game Pass does not allow for achievements because the Windows sign-in option does not appear. Not the first game from Humble Group having this issue. Should be fixed according to an update on the OG post on Steam. Just test it doesn't work. Is this 2021? Yes, it is. Come on, I'm really hoping they fixed it. Still not. Mm. 
2022 February. Still not working. Still not working. Wow. Holy shit. We could be, uh, we could be in for some trouble here. Shiza. Okay, let me think. It looks like they didn't update it once at some point to fix achievements, but it didn't fix shit. Doesn't synchronize with Xbox save state. Yep, there's no play anywhere. Um, if you're on Series X, it may not always fully close games. Press the option button to blah, 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 blah. I can't even launch the game even though I'm logged in with my Game Pass account. Wow, this there's a lot of bullshit going on here. Uh, three months ago, eight months, still no achievements. It's the same problem that was going on with Flynn, Son of Crimson. Does that mean we have to play this game via... Man, it's a good thing I looked at reviews, holy shit. I might have to play it via cloud gaming. Although, my PC is currently running wireless. Which means it's going to be very slow. Very slow. Unless I move the modem into here again, which means cutting the stream briefly. I could do this. I can do this, I think. I just don't think wireless is good enough because it didn't work for Flynn, Son of Crimson. We don't want to lose any frames. I wonder how fast I can... I wonder how fast I can switch this over. Hang on. Okay. If I switch this over fast enough... If I switch this over fast enough, I might be able to keep the stream going without it cutting. Maybe. Although, modems do take a sec usually to kick back in uh, and boot up. Hmm. But I'm definitely not going to risk playing this offline if there's no achievements, because that's some bullshit. That's a bull tookie. Ready to play with cloud. What does that mean? Controller connected. Network connected. 5G wireless. Let's see what we're looking at speed wise with the wireless. Uh, net speed. Yeah, sure. 
The uploads are going to be affected by the fact that I'm currently streaming, so that's ignorable. Holy shit, that's actually fanging along right now. Maybe I don't need to plug it in. 102 megabytes per second while on wireless, not even wired? You absolute freak. Although there is some upload requirement. Okay, I'll try. I'll try wireless. We'll see what, how we go. <sighs> Good luck. Archvale. Anything open that I can close that I don't need? This. Um... Task manager. I mean, I don't need to save on RAM. It doesn't really help. Oh, let's do it anyway while we're here. We never need Avid stuff open. We haven't used Avid in years. Okay. Everything else, whatever. Where's my headphones? Ding. Whoa. Shit. Just confirm one more time. Arch fail PC achievements. Here's one that says up to date PC game pass. Um, still doesn't say why would they fucking patch it and not support achievements fucking hell oh hi Karen didn't see you there um no I just discovered that um the game I was about to play uh has got its achievement system broken on uh the Microsoft store the PC version's achievements aren't working. Only the console does. So, I don't want to miss out on achievements. So, I'm going to play the console version live streaming over the cloud and see how my my uh, frame rate and internet keeps up with that. Don't play it? Well, there's no choice. I'm already committed. Wait, what's going on with my controller? What the fuck? Oh, shit. All right, hopefully I'm on wireless, so this might make the game a bit choppy if it's playing it online, if it's live streaming over the cloud. Um, so if that's the case, I might move my modem into the room and plug my computer directly into it, but we'll see how we go. <sighs> there's, the li there's the cloud rocket ship bringing, in my bringing me my data. F11 to go full screen. I am full screen. What the fuck are you talking about? Is that a joke? There we go. Hey, it is the sound. All right, that works. The sound is a bit loud. Fucking 15 decibels. Yeah, that'll do. Options? Screen shake, music, sound, controls, heal, inventory, place bomb, nice, attack dash on left trigger, right trigger, so, okay, yeah, that'll do, easy, the controller is responsive, that's always the first test if you're playing something uh, over the internet, over the cloud. Since my controller has to send the data to Microsoft server, to the game, and then it comes back to my monitor, that's a long distance for data to travel. 
So the fact that it's moving this fast is uh, impressive. Local multiplayer, I didn't know it had that. Neat. Irrelevant. Difficulty, or we'll start easy just to see what it's like and I'll turn it up if it's bullshit. Child of Archvale, the paradise beyond, awaken. Is that me? Am I the child of Archvale? Seven great stones lie dormant, shielded in the depths of this kingdom. I think the Archvale is speaking to me. The stone archway is... I think, I think I'm high. <laughs> I think he's on acid. Bro, the stone's talking to me, man. Go forth, awaken, child. The arch awaits. I love me a good arch. A good flexible woman. <laughs> hey, I'm a dude. What up, what up? What's the buttons? Inventory. Completely empty. Whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what any of this is. Awesome. Okay, wait. Attack? There is no attack. I have no way to defend myself. Nor do I have arms! I'll have to kick a motherfucker. Neat. Um. <laughs> I could run through bushes, but not the big ones. I think it wants me to find a sword before I can go through there. Hang on. Zelda chest. Wooden blade. That sucks. Oh, nice. Wait. Oh, so it's right stick is to aim. Right trigger to swing. Who are you? Excuse me? Hello? I kill you? Well, that's creepy. I'm gonna fuck right off. Before that becomes a problem. Wow. Oh, I can just hold it down. I don't have to mash it. Nice. I don't like having a wooden sword. The fact that it takes me like six hits to kill a leaf is making me feel um, really self-conscious about my survivability. Pots. I win. Little blob. Are you a friend? Nope. Oh, more. What a badass. This actually feels really good. Like, it's smooth. Like butter. Alright, I'm gonna... This is pretty smooth so far, even though I've seen one example of screen tearing. I'll keep it up tonight. But tomorrow night, I'll um, bring the modem inside and switch to wired just to make sure it runs a little smoother. Perform dash. Boom. Sweet. Dash your projectiles to evade damage. Oh shit. Too quick with it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh fuck. Amazing. Legend. Fuck. It's actually really easy to get hit if you unco. Okay, I can see why they call this a bullet hell RPG mashup. I can imagine later on this is going to get really hectic with a thousand things on screen at once. Onyx ring. Open inventory. Can I wet slime? I've collected nine slime in my pockets. <laughs> it's disgusting, bro. Put that down. What do I do with this? Equip. Plus one defense. Dope. Is a secret up here? Nah? I'm not sure if there's supposed to be secrets or not. I'm just gamer paranoid. Hold to consume healing flask. Oh, that's what that is. Plus 15. I don't know what 15 means when I've actually... When I don't have... A numbered health container. I've got hearts. How much heart does 15 heal? 
That's stupid. <clears throat> I don't like it. That looks like a secret. Oh. Wait. Can I not go back in? It's funky music out here. Hopefully nobody in this world minds me going around and just pruning all the all the uh, trees and bushes, because I'm not going to stop. Fountains restore your health and healing flask. If you fall in battle, you're awakened at the last fountain you touched. Touch it. Fountain activate. Oh, it's a fast travel as well. Is this the whole... How do I zoom out? Holy shit. Okay, the world is quite large. It's big. Oh, that's the map. I wonder if there's secrets... Hang on, let me look on the internet real quick. Are there secrets in... Doesn't say. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh shit, just kicked something. Kicked one of my speakers over. Hey, some of my um, emojis finally got cleared on Twitch, I noticed. I've been waiting for that um, depressed emoji to, to clear in their pending moderation thing for ages. Wait, let's see which other ones. Ah, yep, they're all available now. Neat. There's one that I can use that you can't. <laughs> That's a tier three. I still have to finish, um... I still have to finish, um... Doing all my art and stuff for that. Oh, I can pick up a vase. Why do I have a vase on my head? What can I do with this? Throw it like a freak. I'm lost. Wait. Where's the way out? Ah, oh, here. Is that a turkey? Where the hell did you get a turkey emoji? Bats. Or crows. I'm gonna throw a vase at them. Hey crows, you like vase? Whoa, shit. Holy shit, the vase hurts more than my sword. Alright, use vase more often. Far out. Holy shit. Holy shit. The crow scream is really satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna kill more crows. What is this? Iron ore times five. Oh, you can mine. There's gonna be crafting. Cool. Is that Bob Ross? Oh, that's dope. Hang on, wait. Let me just kill this shit so I can have a look. Alright. Wait. Do I have Bob Ross? Let me just check. Bob Ross. Ah, yeah. I do have Bob Ross. Holy shit. I also have access to someone else's emotes because I've been to their stream. Hang on. These ones. Can I drown? Oh shit, I can. Alright. Where'd I go? Ah. Oh. 
Alright, we need to make sure that the achievements for this work. What's the quickest one I can do? Die? Alright. I'm gonna kill myself in this little lake. Perform five consecutive dashes without stamina recharging. Alright, achievements are working. Love it. Good test. Fuck this phase. Timberwell. Hello, villagers of Timberwell. I am here to destroy all your bushes and all your crates. Apologies in advance. It's just how I roll. Bam, bam, bam. Wait, there's a child. I'm gonna speak to the child. I want to be an adventurer just like you. My mom wouldn't let me. Wise woman. I'm a terrible adventurer. Looking to craft yourself some equipment, eh? Keep an eye out from the wild for shiny rocks. They're sparkling. Smack them about and you'll get yourself some material. That is a great... <laughs> that is a great um, description, explanation of mining. Smack some rocks about and you'll get some shiny shit. Smack rocks about. If you're planning on venturing a past fairy, you'll definitely want to make sure you're well equipped. Okay, how do I blacksmith? Oh, sick. Okay. Lots of helmets and shit. Can I make a shell helmet? Craft with shell shards, 10 of 25. Okay, so I have been actually mining, I just don't have enough. Can I have this? There's clearly some ore just here. Wow, that's so unfair. Can I break into people's houses? Oh, come on. Do I have a house? Oh, wait, I was conjured by an Archvale vale statue. I'm not a real person. I'm an uh, What do you call them? Homunculus? It looks low res. Well, that's because it's pixel animation. I saw a slime the size of a house. No one believes me. I believe you. It's probably going to be the first boss. These sacred fountains are older than even my show. Beacons. Okay. We've already learnt about the statues. We don't need to... I think the statue's got tits. It was clear before. It is a bit zoomed in when I talk to people, I've noticed. Godlike being sent from... Okay. Shut up about the statues. I'm pretty sure that statue is an angel with titties. Yeah, I see big bazongas. Uh, there's a chest that I can store things in. The flowers are moving and dancing. That's whimsical. Another child. These fountains creep me out. Me too! The little girl also noticed the titties. The old guy goes on about them. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Fucking pervert. Oh, there's more ore that I can't steal. More cradle wood. Alright. What's this? Wooden spear. Is that better than what I got? 62, 82. Yeah, that's better. Spear it is. Wait. Compare? How do I equip it? Motherfuck. Okay, I don't really know. Wait. X compares, A picks it up. Where's the equip button? Oh, there it is. I got it. I don't know what I did. Cool. Holy shit. I think I need ranged weapons. I need, like, magic or something that I can attack from a distance because everything spews bullets in every direction that's hella dangerous I don't want to get near shit I 
I think the plan is mine chunks of ore until I can afford shit. These shells, that is a upgradable. This ore, upgradable. This is a dead end, so there's bound to be some treasure here. There's always treasure. If it's a dead end, there's always treasure. Without fail. I do like the range and the spear. That is a lot better. Can I have this? No. It's just normal rock. That's not there's no treasure. You fucking kidding? What was the point of this room? What's this? Mega plum! I don't like plums, but if it's a mega plum, I'll roll with it. I'm not gonna eat it, but I will collect. I'm sure if someone around here likes Mega Plums, maybe I can sell it. I have a lot of shell shards. This is probably enough to upgrade. What's the map look like? Oh, here we go. Okay. Neat. This must be another city. Titty statue repaired. What's this? Blessing received. Your defense has been increased by one. Neat. Hello? Ah, it's a mighty big slime. What the fuck? Oh shit, that's a boss. I didn't think this game would throw bosses at me that early. I have nothing. I have bought no armor. Oh wait, the spear has actually got a really long range. I'm gonna stay medium distance. Fuck me. Oh wait, I forgot I had a dash. I'm an idiot. Yep. Dash, oh fuck. Oh, that's hectic. Holy shit. Nah, bro. Yeah, he's getting a lot of licks in. I'll drink potion. There we go. Plus 15. I don't know what that means. I think that's one heart. I think 15 is one heart's worth. What the fuck? Maybe I should have gone around the long way and avoided this fight until I had more gear. Because I didn't have to come this way. This was an accident. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I shouldn't have been whinging. More of a badass than I thought. Defeat Great Slime. And a Zelda heart container. Exactly the same as in Zelda. No, 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 no! Insert Zelda sound effect here. You found a badge, Heart Clover. Increased chance for enemies to drop hearts when low on health. Badges will be equipped from the badge tab of your inventory. Use a fountain before any effects from badges are applied. So, what, what does that mean? I have to put badges on at a fountain? Where's the badge? Okay, these are badges. There it is there. Activate. And then I touch fountain to make it do a thing. Oh, there you are. Clear again. Yeah, I think uh, de depending on your internet connection, sometimes Twitch lowers the res to like 720 or 480 just to keep the stream going smoothly for you. So if that happens, you can usually reset it or whatever. Did that set it? Probably. Alright. Map. Dead end up. If there's a dead end, that means treasure. Oh, 
Wooden boomerang. Awesome. Wait. That's kind of cool. Wait, 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 wait. Does it actually do damage? 60, 50, 50. If it does only 10 less damage than the spear, that's probably worth it to stay at distance. Yeah, I'm gonna use it for a bit. I'll test it. It's not as fat satisfying to kill with. It's a bit awkward. Jesus Christ. It can kill on the way back. I think that's the... That's the real benefit. It can hit them twice. Instead of 50 damage, that's technically 100 damage. You can get him on the backswing. Oh shit. Excuse me. Take this. What a move. I think I've got enough mineable materials. I could probably go, um craft some armor at the blacksmith, finally. Sweet. Once I see what's up here, because that's the dead end. Hurrah! Frozen blobs. Shit. Oh my god! Not bad. Treasure? No? How is there a... How is there a dead end this far away and there's nothing here? That's absurd. That's disgusting. I hate it. I'm gonna kill that bush just because I'm mad. And that bush. Okay, where, where are we at? At this rate, we can probably get to the next city. Instead of just going back to the previous one. Probably more efficient than running backwards and forwards. I bet they got a blacksmith as well. Ooh, yes. The vase is amazing. What a damage output. Hurrah! Eat boomerang, slut. Vase. Oh, I'll have that. So will you. Brilliant. What are we looking at? Up, down. We'll go down and just explore this one little long way around. Wait, maybe... The spear actually might be more efficient, to be honest. Now that I think about it, the time it takes to throw the boomerang and recatch it, I can probably stab more time at the spear. I don't think that was the most efficient. Yeah, I don't think that that's the most efficient weapon at all. Fuck the boomerang. And the range is only slightly more than a spear anyway. It's kind of bullshit. Let's get this. Crows! There's a vase, I could have thrown that and I would have killed them all in one hit. Lame. 
Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Wait, I've already cleared this screen before. Why are there enemies back here? I think if you travel enough screens, I think earlier screens start to respawn enemies. Because this used to be just grass. Yep. Enemies all come back. That's lame. But since I'm back here anyway... Crafting? Let's give it a shot. What do we got? Heaps! Oh my god, yes. Iron bow. Iron throwing axe. Wait. 40. 40. Rate 3, range 150. Rate... 3.60, range 130. How is the range on a throwing axe more than a bow and arrow? Is this a joke? Iron short blade. Range 0, range 60. Okay, the sword is better. I guess... Iron helmet? Craft? Bam, bam, bam. Wonderful. Alright, we'll go shell plate mail. Can't afford... I can only afford one piece of iron armor, so I'll just get everything else in uh, shell. Snail rod. Magic. What does that mean? Slime bubbler. Magic weapon. Slimes and a bubble scepter. Wait, if I make a bubble scepter, I cannot make a bubble scepter. I'll make a snail rod, because I'm curious to see what that does. This is all just um, experimental at this point. Where'd all the... Where'd all the... Oh, once I credit the iron helmet, I can't make the iron sword anymore. Damn, there goes that plan. Shell axe, shell blade. Axe has got range, blade doesn't, but is more powerful. Range is good. Shell axe. Alright, that's enough. Hey, old man. Yes. Oh, this is the same shit you said before. Okay, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. What have we got? Snail rod. Magic. Okay, that's that's neat. Axes have got sweet range and speed. Love it. Okay. This is much better than what I had before. Damage wise though, 60 and 50 versus 35 and... Okay, so the damage is shit, but they have insane range and speed. That's fine. It's a fine trade-off. Helmet on. Oh my god, you can see the helmet in the game! I'm adorable! Kind of looks like a dunce cap. Or a sleeping cap. I don't like the music in that town. It sounds like a lullaby. It really makes me drowsy. That's cool. All right, map. Let's go straight. See what's at the new town. Can these go right across the map? Oh my god, they can. Not all the way, but almost across the whole screen. I think the key to this game, the main, the master strat, is going to be staying as far away from enemies as possible. Give yourself a chance to dodge the bullet hell. Easy kills from a distance. Hello, fountain. Nice titties. Defense increased by one. It looks like every town, every uh, statue you unlock gives you a uh, up, up one to defense. And just defense. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Almost there. A weapon like this, but with um, better damage, is gonna be killer. This is only a shell. Uh, this is a shell axe. If I can make one out of iron, I think that's gonna be dope. Just need more. Oh my god. Just need more iron ore. I keep finding shell ore. There's some iron. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Groovy. Let's go to town. I'll have that. Almost missed. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, there's some definite screen tearing when the screen goes crazy. But I don't get any controller lag when that happens, so that's fine. I can live with that. Fair Reach. Hello, Fair Reach. Uh, collectible chest. What is this? Holy shit. Is that a pig? <laughs> we discovered a bank in Cradlewood. You can now store up to 500 gold. Hi. Did you just build this bank right in front of me? That was, um, I was efficient. I've got an inkling that my banking services might be of use to you. Isn't it a pain losing your hard-earned gold when you fall in battle? Well, that uh, has yet to happen, Kimisabi. You think I'm a rookie? Think it's my first rodeo? We ain't dying, son. None of this money's going nowhere. Combat mishaps? Ah, oh, fuck off. We have many banks across the world. Keep even more of your gold safe from incompetence. How dare you? How dare you suggest such a thing? He's just taking my money. What the fuck? Okay, so I can't get the money back out. But I'm guessing if it's stored, I can still spend it. Actually, that means it's probably worth just storing all the money in the bank that you get. If you can still spend it while it's in there. That's how it works in real life. Shell. No, we've already made all the shell stuff. Shopkeep? Not from around here, are ye? That means you're a traveler. Sure, I know, not, need not tell you of the dangers beyond the town. I am the danger beyond the town, miss. Get out of my way. Is this a shop for reals? Tomb of Flame? Rusty Flail? Apprentice Hood? Apprentice Robes? That's some good looking shit. Hang on. Tomb of Flame. 15 damage. 5 burn, 5 rate, range 200. That range is huge. Can I compare this to what I'm wearing? Defense 3. Defense 1, but magic damage up by 10%. Okay, it's a trade-off. If I wear mage robes, I get less defense. But um, it increases my magical damage. Flail sounds cool. I won't spend any money yet. Let me just think about it. Who are you? A frog chef. Are you there with one? Mind if I take a peek at those elixirs you carry? My uh, healing potions? What do you know? I know a few tricks of the trade. Pump up the potency of healing brews. Oh, this is like uh, fucking Dark Souls. Bring me mega plums with wiggly green text and I'll see what I can do. I have a single green plum. He brought me a mega plum. Okay, now what? <laughs> what just... He sang a song with my mega plum. Wow, he loves cooking. Healing brew level one. Obtain an improved healing recipe. Okay. Let me try it. Plus 20. Alright, that went up from 15 to 20. I guess my healing flask get increased potency the more plums I can bring the frog chef. Got it. 
What's that sign say? Sword up. Whatever. Who are you? Little traveler. Have you browsed, come to browse my extensive badge collection? Fuck yeah. Ruby brooch. Increased melee damage. Magic damage. Range damage. That's pretty awesome. Wait. Melee damage. Buy it. Cool. How do I... There it is. Equip. Three of three. Okay, so I'm gonna need to equip three badges worth of power. Not many. Got your eyes on my array of trinkets. Little child, I doubt you could afford even the cheapest of my collection. Fuck you. Wait, am I a child? I didn't realize I was a child. Formidable child. Hey, Sham. Can I get a shout out for my dad? Hi, Sham Dad. <laughs> or should I say Dad Sham, since you're brother Sham? I'm assuming your dad would be Dad Sham. What's this man? Happen across any treasures? Please bring them to me. So he'll take all my treasures off me, which kind of sucks. Why would I do that? I like treasure. His name is Mal. Mal Sham. That sounds like email scam. Bro, you got any mal sham in your emails? Wait, do, have I ever asked you why your um Have I ever asked you why your name is Brother Sham? I can't remember. If I have asked you, I've forgotten. I'm really sad that I can't get into people's houses. I would really like to rob everybody in this village. I am the chosen one. I should get first claim to all your belongings. And also, I'm willing to instill Prima Nocta in this medieval town. That gives me first right to every newly married bride on the night of conception. Hello, old man. Do you have a bride for me? Dark bandits have overtaken Amberpath once again. Do you like my beard? I trim it daily. Shamraz is my first name, and Brother Sham is the nickname my manager used to call me. Ah, okay. <laughs> your manager, basically, you invented your Twitch name. Despite the beauty of that old minimal glade, I've never safe enough to take an evening stroll. Well, it is safe now. I am here with my throwing axes of doom. Look at this. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna kill your chickens. Oh, the chickens are immortal. That's a shame. Slimes, chickens, meh. All boring. Seen enough of them. You know what I want to see? Is a cave beyond Cradlewood which is filled to the brim with crabs. This child is enthused with crabs. Enthused about crabs. He lives in a fantasy world with slimes and dragons and he wants to see a crab. That is a spoiled child. Hello, wizard. Um, magical weapons may seem weaker than your physical counterparts at first. However, enemies struck by magic drop magic shards. Grab those and your magical weapons become even more effective. So if I kill with magic, I gain shards that make my magic more magical. Sounds like a winning strategy. Who is this man? I want to go talk to him. Also, lady. Are you planning, planning to travel to beyond the town? I am. Uh, Lady Dimitrescu. Back in my youth, I'd visit Dust Crag. That doesn't sound fit for a lady. A young blonde lass. Okay, she's fun. Tonight we watch Blackfern. Really good movie. Oh, Blackfern is the one with um, uh, shit, the actor. God damn it. He was in um, Moon Knight recently as the villain. It's the second thing in a row he was a villain in. Uh, why am I skimping on his name? He, like, kidnaps children. And he's a freak. He has a top hat and everything. Ethan Hawke. 
children like you should not be lurking beyond the town, but if you must, these weapons of yours could use some work. I have been a smith for many years. For a fee, I'll reinforce those shoddy weapons. You will reinforce my weapons? How? Wait, let me test. Okay, axe. Costs me what? 50 bucks. You know what? No, I'm not loaded. I'm not gonna ha have you take my money like that. What have I got left in the bank? 225? Alright. Gonna go watch another movie? What movie are you gonna follow up Black Phone with? Black Panther? At least keep it within the black theme. Um. What do I have? Am I wearing a armor right now or not? Oh, I forgot to put it on, you idiot. There we go. Shell armor with an iron helmet. Looking sick. Um, what else can I make right now? Jack and shit. Um, what do people reckon on the internet is a good weapon in this? Uh, there's a craft 30 items achievement. I can use up all my shells because shell is no longer useful because I got like all the best shit. So I could probably waste all my shell to get that achievement. There's an achievement for upgrading my weapon five times at that blacksmith. Apparently the Tomb of Flame is actually really good. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. 120 bucks. I do have enough money left. Let's do it. What's it like? Oh, shit! Firing on, rate on that is intense. The damage sucks, but the attack rate is nasty. That probably makes up for the lack of damage. I'm gonna keep that on, holy. It is kind of poncy to be holding a book like a weapon, like I'm about to smack someone with this, like hitting someone over the head with a dictionary, which actually hurts a lot. If you really want to injure someone, smack them in the eye with a dictionary or an encyclopedia. It's full on. All right. He does say we drop magic shards if we kill things with magic, so maybe it is worth firing at stuff with this book. Please stop talking to me. Let's give it a go. Holy shit. Holy shit. Excuse me, beg your pardon. Duck and weave. Look like a butterfly sting like a bee. Oh, it kills quick, alright. These blue things must be the shards. Oh, they disappear quickly. I would like to power these flames up. Because they are pretty piss weak compared to the throwing axes I was using a second ago. Which is making me very sad. I can see how dying could happen very easily in this because it's hard to keep track of what kind of damage you're taking with all this shit going on on screen at once. I think the accuracy on these flames is actually kind of rubbish as well. They kind of arc around randomly. I don't like that. Maybe upgrading it with the blacksmith will make them more straight. Yeah, that's got a wide shotgun arc to them. That's lame. Base. Eat shit. The range is good though. And they do kind of home in. If you shoot from really far away, they arc towards the enemy. And you just notice that. That's, that's actually not that bad at all. Suddenly I don't care about the spread as much. 
Oh yeah, they they home in. That's amazing. I dig it. So where do these blue stars go that I keep collecting? What is that? It said it makes the... I don't know. Oh, I'm an idiot. I bought the ruby brooch with increased melee damage. And now I'm using magic. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> so much for the hero of Archvale. You're a fool. You're a fool, Jimmy. I mean, I guess I had to buy it anyway. Because at, at some point I do have to collect all the badges, but... That was still kind of stupid of me. Yeah, juicy. Juicy, juicy. I don't actually need all this shell. It's just... It's there, so I'm taking it. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing left I can make with the shell that's actually useful. I need some kind of smart bomb attack, like a screen clearing smart bomb. That is a staple of bullet hell. I hope this game has something like that. Okay, more dead ends just up ahead. What's up in here? Nasty. Got him. Treasure chests? No. I really hope I'm not missing any kind of obvious secrets, like secret paths and shit. I wouldn't know. But if I find out later on and I have to double back over the entire game just to find a bunch of secrets, I'm gonna be pissed. Boom, overkill. Sorry, bat, slash crow, whatever you are. Nice. Ooh, that one slime is the color of poop. I killed a poop slime. Got all over my shoes. Yeah, I think the new the strat for this game might be. Upgrade the absolute living shit out of the magic books so that the damage levels are increased. And then just. Because this firing rate and the fact that they're home in with increased damage above what I've got right now would be ultimate. Bam. Blessing received. Okay. I have explored everything up here. Can I just... Can I go back to town with this one? Fuck, that's great. Okay. What else do you have? Jack shit. Uh, plum boy badge guy. How much money do I have? 313. Uh, increased magic damage. That's the one. Don't have any treasures for you. I guess I should store something. I don't need all this crap. Um, with the sword. Wait, can I just quick? Yeah, okay. X button, quick swaps. Boomerang away. Put that in slot one, followed by spear. Magic rod, throwing axe, that'll do. Oh, almost forgot. Take that off, put that on. Magic damage it is. So that increases to 16. Plus 10%. If I wear the apprentice robes, I could increase that even further. 
then I take more damage. I don't know. I'm out of cash. It's pointless anyway. Guess where? What is this? What's that spinny rock? I'll go check it out. Hi, hi. Oh shit. Forgot to reset my book. I'm just not sure what these blue stars are doing because there's nowhere in the inventory where they seem to store or show themselves. Like, wh where are they going? What are they doing? Oh, fuck yeah. I wonder if you can increase the firing rate of this even more. I think they're temporary. The blue stars, I think, are temporarily increasing my damage. Because there were some blue sparkles around my head a second ago when I picked up the stars. Boss is dust. What? Holy shit. I don't know what I just did. I'm on the moon. Well, that escalated quickly. We're on the fucking moon. Oh. What? Can we... Okay. Elevator to the moon discovered. Do I press the switch? Holy shit. Okay, I think the goal is to touch the blue thing and not let that guy shoot me in the fucking face. Oh, it's like a challenge. It's a dodge challenge. Alright. These crystal statues must be moon challenges or something. It's gonna be three? Not just two, but faster. I'm gonna guess that one touch is challenge fail. Otherwise, I think this would be a little too easy. Complete your first trial. Okay, cool. Star Magnet! Increase pickup range for magical shards. I don't think I have the room in my badge thing to wear that. Chance for enemies to drop hearts when low on health. Um, I haven't been low on health yet. Maybe it would be more beneficial to have... It's only pickup range though. Uh, it's, yeah, it's lame. Leave it. Don't care. Not as cool as I thought it would be. Bam. Bowman's hat. Bowman's hat. Uh, less defense, but range damage up. I don't think range damage counts for magic. Okay, damage 16. Put that on. Damage 16. Okay, so it's only bows and throwing axes. That's fair. That's fine. Don't need it. Titty Statch. I do like that they keep defensing me up every time I get one of these. This game seems to be very fast-paced. Like, I'm fanging along. Especially now that I've got a little bit extra damage on this. And I haven't even upgraded the blacksmith yet. Probably in my next order of business once I've got the cash. Okay. What's this? Is that the Xbox logo? Looks like it. It's not an Xbox exclusive, so it must be a, uh, That must be a coincidence. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know what this spinny rock is, but on the radar on the bottom right, it looks like a castle. So I think that's where I'm meant to be going. Yo, yo, yo. I'm starting to think apprentice robes is the way to go. If I had f more magic damage, I will kill a lot faster. Which means less chance to get hit by enemies. So the extra defense wouldn't matter. Good trade off. I'm gonna pump up that magic like nobody's business. What are we doing? Oh, same same ass challenge as last time. I really hope these challenges. St oh fuck start to like do different things. If it's this every single time, then I'm gonna really not look forward to visiting the moon anymore. Holy fuck. One more. Jesus. Oh. Are we done? Thank you. Blue Ribbon, gain additional protection heart. Oh, that's actually useful. How much? Okay, cool. Uh, take that off. Put that on. I think the next time I touch a statue is when it... it looks like every single trial unlocks more badges. Yep. Na 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 na! Pinewood Bow. I don't really need it though because I've gone magic user all the way. God, I need the, the I need the power on this thing to be souped up like nobody's business right now. Where's the nearest statue? Fucking ages away. Huh? Oh. Wrong way. It's up and then to the left. Alright, we have a dungeon. We have a Zelda dungeon. And a teddy statue. Can we go back to town? I got some cash. Before we do the deed. Um. Any native supplies? I am. Um. Give me the robes. Sweet. Give me the apprentice hat. Sweet. All right, now we're we're teched out as a mage. Can I sell? I I guess not. Compare, pick up. Don't think I can sell. That's a shame. Iron sword. How much iron do I have? Iron throwing axe. Make it. Cool. I guess I'll just store shit until I find out how to sell things later. Get rid of the regular... Throwing axe, thank you. <clears throat> Alright. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm a little mage! A little purple mage! I'm adorable. All my money's gone. How have I spent exactly to the dollar every single coin I had? Bother. Wait, what? No treasure, bothersome child. I have no interest in idle mind and conversation. Well, how do you know that I'm not well read? Have you seen me? I'm dressed as a warlock and I'm holding a book. My conversation is top tier. More badges? Okay, you've only got one badge left. I really had a, wish I had enough money to upgrade my, my book. 
But if I can't sell shit, it ain't gonna happen. Is that? Oh, that's the block that was blocking the way. I'm guessing whatever power I need to get through there is going to come from this dungeon. Apprentice Magician coming through. Eat shit, dungeon. Is no one here to fight me? Well, then I'm going to burn all your crates. I'm a little shit like that. Gold key. Archer, it's about to take a base to the face. I'm sick with it. Oh, there's more. I should have saved that vase. Good. Yeah, I, d I get sparkly magic around myself. I think I, s I soup up my, uh, my magic power mid-fight very briefly by doing that. Copper treasure. Oh, that's for the uh, treasure guy that... The vizier. The treasure vizier. That gave me shit. I don't know if I want to be giving him all my treasure, because he's kind of a jackass. Oh, he gives me a hundred bucks for it? Okay. That's different. I thought I was just giving him treasure. Apparently, I'm selling it to him. Say no more. Should have said that the first time. What are you? Oh my god. Oh fuck. No. Hit him with the face. Well, they're more dangerous than I'm used to. I seem to be well leveled for this dungeon, though. Like, it's not that bad. We're keeping up. Ding? What was that? What? What? Oh, do I have to touch them all, like, real quick? Alright. I think this is the puzzle. Boom. Oh, fuck. Wait. Yes? Okay, I see. Oh, God. Wait, what? Hang on. Damn it. Ugh, this has got to be some kind of puzzle. Hang on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. What? Okay, wait. Internet! Tell me what's up. Hitting left to six will bring us to a tutorial of sword stamina crystals. These green crystals will supply stamina upon contact. Usually located inside dash courses. Okay. They just give me stamina so I can dash a lot. You're probably gonna see them in pit areas a lot. What up? I think this system of blue stars that come from magic kills is to make sure that I stay on the offensive, even if I'm using ranged magic. Because if I'm not moving in on where the the guy I killed was just standing, I'm not being able to pick up those, um, then I'm not picking up the magic drops and getting the extra power. Oh, a key. Oh, I can't go that way. Wait, what? Alright, hang on.
Aha. Oh shit. Nice. Nice. You're a fiend. Oh, there's TNT. It's just traditional old TNT in a medieval dungeon. Modern TNT. <laughs> If you stay close to those guys with the spinning um, chains, they actually can't hurt you. Because the damage is at the tip. Plum. Nice. Mega Plum! I so very rarely take damage that that hasn't really been an issue yet. So upgrading my uh, potions with the Mega Plums is... So far, been kind of just meh. Whoa. Um. Hello? Bad guys. That was a waste of a vase. Nice throw, buddy. Oh, enemy mage. They have the same power as me, but mine's faster. Copper treasure. All right. It seems like the treasures that that guy wants from me to buy off me are all found inside dungeons and crypts. Not overworld. Oh, shit. Okay. Nailed it. Get the TNT, bruv. Got that hit nobody. Oh, he got me twice. Good shirt. Good on him. <sighs> game re game recognizes game. Mr. Spinny Chain a Skeleton Guy. Good job. Far out. Very many bullet hell. Holy shit. I think that chain gets longer or shorter depending on how close you are to that guy. How many keys do I have? Oh, both. Silver and gold. We'll go silver first. Because this looks like a dead end. Hello? Oh, fuck. Standing right where that man spawned. To hell with him. Oh my god. Okay, the bullet hell is at its worst when there are mages. Do I have to pick? Or do I get both? Copper treasure? I get both. Bone crusher ring. That sounds like a melee ring. Bonus damage to skeletons. Oh no, that's, that's alright. What have I got on? Defense one. Attack speed is up as well. Okay, that's what I'm going to wear that for. Fuck the skeleton damage, because that's not as important. But the attack speed, yes. Yes, even faster spells equals more damage. Holy shit. Oh no. My bad. Wow. Oh shit. Never mind. Wait for it to come back. My bad. My timing sometimes is very poor or non existent. Holy shit. Oh, I see the move. Yes. 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 I'm a genius. Blessing of power. Your attack power is increased by one. What, just generally? No matter what, melee or... Oh, it's not an artifact, it's just... Yeah, generally. Oh, cool. Yeah, damage 19. Looking good.
Are you the boss of this crypt? Because this crypt was not very formidable. How are you? Hey, visitor. How curious. Do you like my green eyeball? My entire face is made up of eyeball. It's like it's full of toxin or something. I don't know. I'm a very strange creature. Your arrival here is not mere accident. Those who come before have been dead for many hundreds of years. The fate that you shall no doubt soon share. Well, speak for yourself, buddy. Those robes look flammable and I have all the fire. Let's go. Oh my god, his robe is a big mouth. That's disgusting. Oh, that's cool. I actually love it. I mean, I'm supposed to be horrified, I guess, but... Wow. Kinda wish I had more damage potential on this fire, but... It's alright. Yeah, stand still while I s smash you bits. I think if I just move left and right, you can't- Oh, there's some bullet hell. Wow. Oh shit. I think these are the same green eyeballs that were in his face. He can spit them out. Of his vagina robe. His vagina dentata robe. Bring it. Oh, you're weak. Kill him quick. I have barely lost any health after all that shit talking you did. Maxilla. Thanks, achievement. I had no idea what his name was. How fascinating. That Book of Flames is quite formidable. You just bought that at a shop, did you? That's, uh... I think we need some regulations in this town. A child should not be able to buy that... that much power. With just a couple of gold coins. Goodbye. Oh, he's gonna be the villain throughout the entire game, I think. I'm probably gonna have to fight him in every single dungeon. Just harder every single time. Na 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 na! Healing flask! An additional healing flask. I have three. I have yet to have to use one. Just that good. You collected a magic bomb. Once again, I have become more formidable. Deal damage to charge a magic bomb. Magic bomb charged. Press space to place a magic bomb. I do not have a space bar. I'll be. Shit. That hurt me. Okay. Good to know. You have found a piece of rock. Congrats. It's very spinny. Don't stare directly at it, you'll get sick. Oh, we're filling out the arches of the Archvale. That's, that's the game. That's the game's name. Archvale? We know now. Everything makes perfect sense. Back to town. Everyone, you should have seen me. I was great. I need to sell you some shit. Child. Do you see the glint of glorious treasure upon your person? Please show me. Wow, you're a creeper. Yeah, have all the money. Just slam it right into your face. Boom. Oh, that is satisfying. That's really satisfying. Yay. Treasures. Money. Hey, bank. Take my cash. I can only hold one, uh, can only hold 500. I need to unlock more banks and more towns, I guess. Um, you have anything new to s now that I've beaten a boss? Nope, nothing new. Oh, I have a plum for you. One more, and we can get brewing. Oh, it's gonna the price is gonna go up every time. I see. Let's upgrade this book. So I am very powerful. Where's my book? Gonna take it there myself. Alright. Not very convenient. Upgrade. 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 How many times can I do this? 
Still more. It's now 22 damage with a fire rate of 5.98. Wicked sweet. Okay. Oh, the bomb is what we used to blow our way through that. Got it. Got it. Nothing worth making. Let's get the fuck out of here. Slime. Oh, you can actually overstack slime. 250 is the max. Ooh. Let's go back to the first town and see if I can't conjure a bank there. What's this town called? Timberwell. No bank, just blacksmith. Moon jelly cap, that's new. Crabarang. I, I want I want a crab a crabarang. Slimy flail. I do not want a slimy flail, that sounds disgusting. Like when you get lube all over a hammer. It's not fun to use. Trust me. This is the closest way I can get back to. I wonder if I can upgrade these robes as well. Oh yeah. That damage potential is looking sweet. I wish I did that before I went in the cave. Bomb. Fantastic. Can I not break these? Why not? Yay! Yay! Also, yay, vase! Is this Autumn Vale? Where are we now? I don't think it told me the name of this area. But there's a lot of bees. Although it is Autumn, so that's fair. Sorry, bees. I'm gonna kill my way through. I've got important shit to do. TNT. Just gonna clear it out for safety's reasons. There are children in this region. Can't believe any TNT around. Swift Sword. Ooh. 42? Damn, boy. That's full on. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, I see gold. Hiding behind a tree. Can't hide that from me. Is that a beaver? Okay, whatever, it's dead. Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> it's a corpse now. It's roadkill. TNT! That didn't help me mine that ore at all. That was the whole reason I blew that up. Oh, there's so many ways I can go. Um, interesting. I'm going to go down because there's a dead end that way, which means there might be a chest. Surveys. This guy's crossbows are kind of awesome. They fire quick. Dope. There are a lot of statues. There are a lot of titty statues as well. It means a lot of defense ups. Oh, fuck. Got him. 
Holy shit. Blowing up a beehive a problem? No, it's a good thing. Mama bee comes out, but a good treasure also comes out. There we go. That was a nasty fight. What is this map hiding from me? Pickups, collectibles, these. Yummy. Okay, that takes too long. Let me move this scimitar to here. These two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me use this for a bit. This seems fun. Oh. Hi. Oh, bandits. Skimitar fight with the bandits. Go, bruv. Can I use the bomb in fights? Oh, not bad. That actually did pretty good damage. Okay, this is not a good idea. This is making me get close with things I'm getting hit. Even though the damage is sweet. I think playing it safe, better option. Do I have to close these or something? No, alright. This is just fight until I can't fight no more. You little sneaky bastard. There you go. Bandit town destroyed. Now wait till I find out later on that this, these are actually a um, a good group of uh, rangers. I just killed everybody? What's over here? Nothing. Dead end. Can I go in the holes? No. Did I not get anything for fighting this lot? Okay. Fine. Ooh. Yeah, this is much. This sword is much better for hacking through juicy, juicy ores. Holy shit. Please die, bees. And this is... A ruby staff! Ooh... 45 magic. Oh, that sounds better. Lasers? I'm a fire in my laser! Okay, I'm gonna try using that for a bit. The range isn't as good on those fireballs, but... The damage on this is superior. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I might actually finally lose a life soon. If I keep this up. Nice. Okay, not today. I need to get to one of the... Oh, this was a dead end too. There's nothing here. Okay, walk all the way back. At least you got that chest. That was cool. Oh, the trap doors are closed. Who closed that? Yo, those are open when I came here last. Suspicious. Trial. Let's go to the moon! Yo. Is this the same old shit? Sure is. The firing patterns of these orbs just changes. Whoa. Jesus. Oh my god. Is he on? 
Nice. One more. Oh, now there's actually three orbs for a change. Holy shit. Holy shit. That didn't last too long. Cool. Still got it. Paladin's Light. Melee weapons deal fire damage while at full HP. Not gonna need that. I am no longer a melee weapon user. That is a thing of the past. Thank you for the Mega Plum. Could now upgrade my potion bullshit. I just need a statue so I can teleport back. Yikes. Okay, this has not got the range I need. There we go. There we go. Did it end? Nope. Crab Claw Chasm. I see. Still no, um... Still no extra villages. Oh my god. Okay, so... I've got one... I've got one shard... Of the Archvale. It's two, three, four, five... Wait. One, two, three, four, five... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's seven? There's meant to be seven. All right, back to village. I'm gonna get my shit upgraded. Hey, upgrade my book. Just, oh my god, I gotta do it like this. Why do I have to do it like this? Boom. Fully upgraded weapon. That's the one. 22. Damage. 5 burn. Fire rate 6.24. Doesn't seem like they'd really upgraded that much. Huh. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Take your plum. You've brought me mega plums. Thank you, brought me all the mega plums. We need to make the shot. Let me work my magic. Singing the song of plums. Oh. Look at him go. He's keen. Boom. Plum juice. Healing brew level two. That rhymed, boss. Okay. The rest of my cash go to the bank. 30 bucks. Not much. Ha! Huh, bandit scraps. Gold ore. Yep. Hogtail hat. Defense and attack speed. Now we're gonna keep magic damage. Thanks very much. Onyx ring can get put away. Hogtail hat. Snail rod, lame. Wooden spear. Ah, that's good enough. Okay. What can we smith? So many gold items. A golden scepter. Bandit hood. Ah, oh, this is all melee based. The bandit outfit's very melee focused. That's lame. Infection stuff. Yay, I can give people COVID. If I can make if I make that. Golden helm, golden body armor. I mean this is all very cool. Iron plate. Maybe I should just make one of everything. So I can have a nice little collection going on in here. Yeah, that sounds like fun. 
I'm not gonna have much use for all this shit anyway. Um, gel blade. Iron plate, body. Uh, let's see, helmet, armor, axe, blade, staff. But I never build a sh- okay, wow, okay, never mind. Um, put the wooden crap at the top. Then the shell stuff. Rings down here. Shell blade. Shell axe. Wooden bow. Yeah. Iron throwing axe. Put that away. What are we making? One of these. Shell helmet. Cute. Um. Iron bow. Yeah. Iron short blade. Yeah. All the goods. What a collection. What a collection. Okay, uh... This also needs to be put away. Yes. Yeah. Little one of these. Guessing that, and then that, and then that. Um, and then the long sword, and then the axe, and then the bow. Looking sick. What is this? What am I wearing on my ring? Bonus damage to skeletons. Ah, uh, I need a better ring than that. Fuck skeletons. We're done with skeletons. We don't need to know no more skellos. Um, blue, 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 blue. Iron sword. Oh. I used up all my iron. Boo. Boo to you, sir. What do bandit stuff cost? Bandit scraps. Oh, nah. Let's make a gold helmet. I'm not gonna have enough gold. No, no. Bandit hood. Bandit tunic. I'm a mighty crafter. I craft. Yes. That's where the sword's gonna go. Bandit that. Bandit. This. You as well. Alright. That looks good. Okay. Out of cash. Um. I wonder if... I'm really curious if... The ruby staff is worth using over the Tomb of Flame. Because the firing rate of the flames and the lock-on is amazing. Um, I 
can't find any notice of... Wait, let me search for Ruby. On the internet. Ruby stuff. No word. It's not saying anything on the internet about whether this is better. So I'm going to keep using the book. Lower damage, but that lock-on and that, that range and that firing rate is really doing wonders for me right now. How are we going with badges? I am happy with what we're rocking with. Where were we at? Here. Hi, Crab Claw Chasm. Are there crabs? I would like to murder some crabs, please. With flame. I'm hungry. There's gnomes as well. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't... I wouldn't put it past uh, trying out some gnome. Some gnome meat. I can eat that. Probably a little tough. Probably a little gamey. Mine, mine, mine. Place is a bit fucky. Whoa. Good lord. The one crab has gone off. Okay, cool. Harvest. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Yeah. Is that it? Can I have this mushroom? Oh, I want to pick that. What you got for me? Splash Tomb! Splash Tomb is... Oh, it's water magic. Cool. I wonder if it's worth switching between fire and... The, the fire book and the magic book. Like, based on the enemy. Like, are there enemies that are more... weak to one over the other? That probably is how it works. Alright, there's a bunch of dead ends. I'm gonna check this out. Who wants a vase? Anybody? No? Okay. What is that? Black crab. A poison crab. That's a big boy. Um, check out this way. Oh, it's a fountain. Prepare. Give me my defense. Juicy. Okay. At least I have a quick way to teleport back if these dead ends don't pan out. Why are there already enemies? Oh, the fountains must... Oh, the fountains resurrect enemies. I lost 31 gold. I didn't know they were hitting me that hard. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Be more careful. Have some bullet health. Have some my own bullet health. Two can play that game. Good thing I found that fountain right then as well. Jesus, my health! They do hit hard. Am I under leveled for this part of the game or what? Excuse me? Oh, it's okay. The game's on now. I see how it's going to be. Let's just play it safe, I guess. 
I think the gnomes with their, their purple magic are doing serious damage. I gotta be careful of that. This can kind of arc around corners. I'll just use that as a trick. Keep myself safe. Oh yeah, that works. Can I take a vase with me to another screen? Does that work as a strategy? Nope. Doesn't let me. Seemed like a great strategy at the time. I'm upset. Whoa, fuck. Oh, well. Wow. Good dodge. Great work. Finally, something that was worth coming this way for. Maybe. What is this? Bubble Scepter. Oh, there was a crafting thing that required a Bubble Scepter. Nice. I can't remember what it was, but I need to try it. Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. The purple ones follow you. No. That is why I was dying so much. I couldn't see. I wasn't paying enough attention to notice the purples were following me. It's a bit of a spanner in the works. This was truly a dead end. At least when I die, I only use, I only lose uh, money, not the items and treasures I found. Oh shit. Oh shit. Good, good shot. Oh my god. I came into this cave way too cocky. They're actually defending themselves well. But I'm still taking all their gold. <laughs> to hell with them. Got him. Whoa! Okay, grab that. Nice. Oh, it didn't actually... The vases aren't doing as much damage as they used to. Maybe it's not as viable a strat anymore. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Give me all the gold. I got things I want to craft. Oh, good. Shotgun back. Thank Christ. Zip. Zip. Ooh. Big plum. And nothing else. Okay. Wait. There's another way out of this room somewhere. Where? This way. Sweet. Treasure! No. How dare you? That hurts me so much. Okay, the gnomes are the hardest hitters in the game so far. And they can conjure their bullets out of midair. They don't have to actually come out of them. Which is a little tricky. Whoa. And they follow you. Double tricky. No, no! Get an ass beating. Oh, thank god. Just heal up. Good lord. Maybe we should have expected this game to start getting more difficult. I was being way too cocky before. This entire area is just for more mineables. There's nothing here. Oh my god. Alright. Fuck you, idiot. <laughs> Recharge stamina. 
We'll statue our way back. To the opening. Die. I'm wondering if when the enemies respawn, does the ore respawn? see any ore. I don't think it does. Oh, what the fuck are you? Hello? Hi? Bloody! What are you doing down here? This be crab land. Are you a crab? What the fuck are you? You have a perpetually surprised face. Either that or you're a crab blow-up doll. Them crabs are a Bunch of crafty critters. I've only survived so long because I learned them crabs inside out, yes sirree. Learned to walk like a crab. I think Oh, this is a dude wearing a crab outfit. If you wanna rip the crabs from the shells, take this here crab hammer. Okay, crab hammer, nice. Does that mean I get I can harvest crab shells or something by using the crab hammer? Is that the point of this? Okay, it's like a throwing axe. Cool. I need to test this on a crab. And also, make a plum. I'm glad they always seem to put that in a really obvious spot. Give me this. Repair ten fountains. I did do that, yes. Aren't I special? Um, let's go down. I need to get more stamina blobs somehow. There must be where to upgrade that. Crabs! I want crabs, not a gnome. Fuck the gnome. Oh my god, the gnome. He's a pain in the butt. Okay, crab. Crab shell. Okay, what does this do? Crab hammer. You know what? I'm not going to use it. Unless there's a reason. Hang on, let me look it up. Crab man with crab hammers. Yep, here he is. Ghost crab floats around, blah blah blah. Nope, we don't care about him. So I get crab shell material regardless. I don't actually have to use the crab hammer. Oh yeah, I'm getting heaps of crab shell. It don't matter. I thought maybe using the crab hammer was the only way to get um, crab kills to drop crab shells. That would have been a smart design decision, I think, but... They're too nice to me. Whoop. Wrong weapon. Nice. Where are we going? This way. Two for one. Smart cookie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, crabs. Oh, so many. One of them finally got me. Oh my god. What a room. What a fight. What all? Put them gold in my coffers. Okay, 
Yeah, this arcing shot is so good. Juicy. Alright, the dead end is up ahead. There better be a reason that I came this way. Sick of dead ends with no treasure. It's a statue. At least those come with repairing... Oh, get the phase out of here. At least these come with a defense up for repairing them. Nice titty statue. So that's fine. I should have to go back to... Oh, they all respawned. I wish you could just run through rooms and not fight, but they don't let you leave. You don't kill everything. There's no pacifism in Archvale. Only murder. Where are all the enemies at? There they are. Die more. Thank you. I need to kill the no the gnomes. Took 128 gold, which is how much of my gold? Half. Okay, debts take away half your money. Fuck. The gnomes can kill you in two of those purple bolts. That's nuts. Purple is really the only thing that's a threat to me right now. Take this. Good shot. Vase is still ultimate. I think I should start... Oh my god, there's the purples. I need to start... Whenever I found a fountain, I need to go back to the village. Bank my cash so I don't lose it. Because there's no reason why... I shouldn't teleport at every statue I find. I mean, all the enemies respawn at a statue anyway. There we go. Full on, man. This is a crab-filled room. Damn. Okay. Uh, nothing else in here. No mineables. Finally, a reason to have come all this way. Twin shot bow. Sounds great. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Oh, cool. Dope. Let's try using it a little bit. Oh, I can't. Ding. Blessing received. Let's go back to town. Good lord, that's a far... That's a far town. I'm getting further and further away. I'll give you your Mega Plum soon. What else do you have? The Flail would be cool to own. You do not have extensive bank collection. You have nothing. Now I've got all your badges. Ooh, I've got treasure for you, I think. Oh, no, no, I don't. That was a lie. I, I do. Where's my gold? Huh? Huh? Oh, I spent it all at that, dude. That's... Oh, yeah. Okay. Gold breastplate. Cool. Iron sword. Little sword, big sword, axe, bow. 
Still sword, big sword, axe, bow. Okay, no. Wait. Boom. Big sword. The last iron thing I need. Sure was. Oh, here's the crab shit. Melee damage up. Slime bubbler. Bubble scepter plus some slime. Okay. How much crab crap do I have? A lot. Let's make the crab helmet. And the crab armor. Scale mail. Since we're rolling in crab juice. Iron sword. Yeah, it is. Is it worth hanging on to the swift sword when I could just use the laser? Fuck the crab hammer, we're not using that. To make this bubble scepter shit. Okay, so use the bubble scepter and some slimes to make a slime bubbler. Wicked. Okay. Start making the gold gold sword. Gold baby sword. Gold axe. That's enough gold, okay. Oh yeah, the crab shit. Crab blade. Oh, I used my other sword to make that. Okay, that's weird. This uses the boomerang? It does. Some of these weapons that you craft eat up other weapons. Interesting. Like, my ruby staff and some poison sacks make an infection staff. What else? Slimy flail. Slime plus the rusty flail. Cool. Toxic two-shot. Poison sacks with the two-shot that I just found. Dope. Moon jelly cap? Fungal cap cap with slime and... Tough scales. That's gonna take a while to build. Neat. I do like how the money doesn't have to be in your wallet, nor does the item have to be in your inventory to craft shit. Wait, where'd that go? There used to be something there. What? Okay. Let's keep this all organized, shall we? Um, the gold sword. Actually, no. Start that there. 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 I want to keep this all in order. Don't know why I'm being pedantic about all this. But I am. Leave me alone. So that ring will be a placeholder for the next thing. Bandit tunics. The crab armor. And then that bullshit. Alright. 
Oh, the crabarang. Oh, it was the boomerang. The wooden boomerang that... Okay. So now the wooden boomerang's gone. Yikes. I wonder if... Is it worth upgrading all the spell books and keeping each one on me like water, poison, fire, depending on the enemy types? So at a loss as to where to focus my. Let's put the splash tomb away for now because I'm not going to use that over my fire. I suppose everything else can stay for now. Get her done. That was the one. Crack claw chasm. Dust crag. What? A desert. This place has some seriously intense OST. The soundtrack just went off. That's a whole new region again. Oh my god. Well, there's one of the. Okay, that's where we're going for one of the uh, arch fails. But I'm not ready yet. I'm like, I didn't, the game is kind of open world in a weird way. I can get much further than I need to. Let me try this bow and arrow. Okay, not bad. It does require some accuracy, whereas this just can go around corners and lock on. So I'll keep doing that. <laughs> So far, these bombs that I unlocked aren't really useful during fights. The way they work is very inconvenient. <laughs> Not about it. Whoa, shit! What are you? Are you a boss? Ghost crab. Alright. That's freaky. Did that get him? I don't think so. Actually, his health's going down pretty fast. It's not so bad. Whoa, Nelly! You have to stand still for like two seconds to use the health. Okay, the one that can catch on fire from my flame book is the real ghost crab. Everyone else is a copy. Yeah. Okay, wait, maybe they can all catch on fire. My bad. Get him! Yes! Who are you gonna call? Little purple wizard. That's who. Fuck off with your ghost crab. What is that? Not that. Not the Zelda heart. The other thing. Dagger mastery. Daggers fire long range projectiles. Yay! Is that the grave of the crab that... whose ghost that was? <laughs> Do we, now I lay you to rest. I look like a monk. I might as well pray for the ghost crab. See him through the afterlife. Amazing. Bomb now deals additional damage. That would have been useful during the fight. Thanks very much. Now there's 
Fucking skeletons and... They, they weren't here when I was just in here a second ago. Okay, that's creepy. I think this place is still haunted. I don't think I killed the ghost crab. Okay, no. Not like this. Kill the gnome first, please. Oh, what a freak! I don't know if this little new poison scimitar is as powerful as the sword that I consumed to craft it. a lot. <laughs> Alright, let me back off for a sec. Try that again. Nailed it. Yes. Daddy like. Jousting Lance. Cool. Inflicts defense break. 144? Oh, it's slow. Yeah, that's slow as fuck. That is... The most damage I've seen in a melee weapon ever. But at that speed, it's gonna get me killed. It's gonna get me killed for sure. Anyone in here? Nope. Nope. What is with this room? Twisted Caverns. Oh, good lord. There's a town with a thing. Okay. What is this? This place seems spoopy. Um, I can seem to get to many regions earlier in the game than I probably need to. Your defense has been increased by one. Congratulations. Uh, escape from this place now. It seems to be a nightmare. There's something up this way too. Let's go spend. Taking my money. Anka. Do you have anything yet? God, get some wares, bruh. Can I make the last... Oh, the last two. Golden Scepter. Golden Bear. Hmm. Golden Bow, I guess. Up. Uh, everything else? Ooh, there's the fairy lance. Jousting lance with wisp dust can be turned to a fairy lance. If it fixes the attack rate, that might actually make it useful. Other than that, terrible. Poison tomb is my water book. It's definitely better than the water book. Poison sacks. Must be from a region I haven't got to yet. Okay. I guess we'll put away the twin shot bow. What else? Jousting lance. That thing. A slime bubbler. We'll try and see what that's like to use. Okay. Bow and arrow there. Claw Blade doesn't really do anything fun. I haven't found any rings in a while to replace that ring I've been wearing for like the whole game so far. <laughs> uh, that's fine, that's my space for the gold scepter. I don't have enough gold to craft that. Where are we going? There's the desert region, that leads to a town. One of the archvile stones and nothing else. This is a dead end. Something's up this way. This is the giant spooky place. Two towns. 
two Archvale stones? I don't know how to get to that one. That's in the middle of nowhere. Something down that way. Okay. Let's go check the rest of this. This is the only part of Banditville I haven't seen. I don't think there's any more boss in Banditville because I did do that bandit fight in the camp. That's probably the boss. Although some areas have a mini boss and then there's like an actual, actual boss. So I'm not sure what to think. Bandit scraps. Slimes. Eat shit, slimes. Also eat your TNT. Just for fun. I haven't used this yet. Oh, it's a sword that fires a laser. I'm a fire and a laser. Yeah, 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 yeah. How powerful is this? 104 versus 22. Let's actually see what that's like against a real enemy. Oh, I like these. Give me a badge. Haven't failed one of these yet. The moon is my oyster. Oh, okay. Well, I spoke too soon. There's not much on at stake. You really just try again. Like, you can't die. It just stops. Whoa. Good job. I wonder if dying makes you do all the waves over again or if it starts from the last wave you did. Oh, we're about to find out. Okay, it's starting from the one you got to. I'm starting to get a little bit of controller lag, actually. Oh my god, four orbs. Oh, my, thought my dash had it. I'm really glad they let you start. They don't tuck away your health, they let you start from the one you got to. That is kind of them. They didn't have to do that. Okay, what do you got for me? Oh, we're done. Arrow bender. Range projectiles bend towards enemies. Ooh, that could actually make the more powerful bows home in on enemies like my spellbook does, which could make that more useful to use. Interesting. Possibilities. Oh, not this again. Wait. Fire my laser. Oh, these are, this is powerful as. I love this. The range could be a little further, like the spell book, but oh, it goes through? No, it doesn't. I got too excited. I thought that went through obstructions. Does this count as magic power? Is that why I'm still getting blue hearts? Uh, blue stars? Okay, this doesn't count. This is not the boss, because the fact that this is happening again means this is just what the bandits do. This is normal. There's still a bandit boss that I have yet to discover. Bye. I'm getting a bit framey. Oop, oh, dead end up ahead. What's up here? Good. Fantastic. I think when I stop streaming today, I'm going to spend some time looking up what people reckon about weapon loadouts and see if I can find an optimal if everyone has like an optimal because I feel like this with a higher firing rate would be pretty amazing maybe even worth losing the um, the tracking ability of the flame book
Holy shit. What are you doing? Come here. Get banned. Bag of knives. Uh, bag of knives? Actual bag of knives. I'm guessing it's a bag we take knives out and throw them, or do we hit people with the bag of knives? Because I think that would still hurt. That's a very spiky bag. How does it st How does it not cut itself open? <laughs> I have so many questions. Do I have a crossbow? I also got a crossbow from somewhere that I've got no idea where that came from. I must not have been paying attention. The only downside to this laser, this purple laser, oh, the... Fuck. The only downside to this purple laser is how good your aim has to be, because how thin it is. But, it goes with my apprentice robes, which I think is fantastic. I look fabulous. Oh, not this again. Oh wait, this is different. Hey! Mongo, the bandit brute. Is that a... Blazing Saddles reference? Is that Mongo? Can I hit you with this? Boom. Okay. The bomb is kind of useful for him because of how slow he is. Holy shit. Okay damage, nothing special. Oh my god, Mongo, you're getting wrecked. You suck, Mongo! The gnomes at the purple bullets were more powerful than this. Cool. If anything, this purple laser is a good boss killer. Because bosses are large. It's hard to miss with the thin laser. But mobs, I think, are still better to use the flame book just because of the homing capacity. Arc it around walls and stuff where it's safe. Melee weapon projectiles travel further. Is this a melee weapon project? Oh, okay. So, the slime bubbler counts as a melee weapon. With a projectile. So that's longer now. Nice. Maybe if I upgrade this, it'll be... It's a plus five. It'll solve some of my problems with it. Yeah. Yeah. What region? Oh fuck. I thought, I, okay. See? With tiny mobs, a lot of your shots miss, which wastes time. Okay, let's go back to my flame. Okay, yeah, home in. Good. I don't have to aim very well. Oh, they can jump in and out of the trap doors and come up in, a, in different spots. They're being tricky bandits. I think that's what they were doing. I think some of them are just assassins, so they can just disappear and reappear anyway, at will. Good. Eat shit. Burn your tents. Now the bandits are nowhere to sleep. Where is this going? Merkmire. Sounds poisonous and spiky. Boom! Fix the titty statue. Oh, hey, Sham. Hey, Sham, do you reckon this angel statue looks like it's got big tits? Or am I looking at this wrong? Like, it might just be, like, arms folded like this in prayer. But those look like big honking watermelons to me. That's probably too small on the screen, really, to see. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. I swear those are titties, man. The swamp has got some cool, cool music. I like the music here. 
Um, Jesus, this place is way more open world than I thought it was going to be. Titty statue, we're going back to town. Alright, let's... What can we craft? Jack and shit. Bandit hood. Bandit... I've already made all that. I need that. Have I got the scepter yet? No, make it. Gold scepter. Cool beans. Um, I can now make a bag of poison knives if I combine five poison sacks with my bag of regular knives. That's pretty cool. It's either boobs or thick shoulder blades on her back. I swear to God it's meant to be her, her, um, her sleeves. Like her robed sleeves of her arms, like folded in prayer or something. That's what I was... That's what I was seeing in there. Um, what else is new on my crafting menu? A frost ray. My gold scepter combined with a frozen capsule. I don't know what a frozen capsule is. I've never seen any of those in the game so far. The gold scepter I just made. Okay, let's go put shit away. I don't need all this stuff. Scepter be gone. Okay. Uh, bag of knives be gone. Bandit crossbow be gone. Ruby staff, I guess we can get rid of. We'll keep the claw blade. Let's move the slime bubbler up, because that's now my fire and my laser. And I'll keep the claw blade, because why not? Okay. Give all money to the pig. There you go. Everything in your bank. Have you got wares yet? You useless slut. Rusty flail. We'll buy one of those because I can craft that. Can I do it now? Yes. Wait. Wait. Slimy flail. Rusty flail combined with slimes. 30 of them. Craft that shit. Cool beans. How's that look? Whoa, dude! <laughs> I'm a poison flail boy. Wrecking everyone shit. Okay, that was cool. Maybe I'll keep that in my inventory. That's pretty fun. <clears throat> he said the S word. Cancelled. What's the S word? Sean. Is Sean Kichu offensive? I can get people cancelled with my name alone. Well, you brought me some Mega Plums. Give me the Mega Plums and I'll make you some soup. Slug with a T. Oh, you mean slut. Well, that's not a bad word. That's not an offensive word. That is a um, legitimate archetype of human being. I'm a slut. I take offense to people taking offense to the word slut. How dare people take my kind name in vain. I stand for man sluts everywhere. You calling corporate? What, slut corporate? I am the CEO of slut corporate. So if you'd like to call corporate, you can speak directly to me. Now let's watch the frog sing while he makes me plum juice. Go, sh go frog chef, go. Fantastic. Healing brew level 3. Plum juice acquired. Alright. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I'm gonna save my cash. Don't know what I'm gonna have to need that for soon. You're going to call Slut Corporate for phone sex? Well, since you're already um, speaking to the CEO, we can just start it up right now. Um, so what are you wearing, Shan? <laughs> Wait. You know it'll be sexy? This will be sexy. Let me eat some... I got... Have you seen these? Garlic shapes. Garlic bread. Did you know that shapes biscuits cape in garlic bread? You're wearing a top hat? You wear a top hat. I'll eat garlic bread flavored biscuits. And um, I think that'll be pretty hot. God damn. How do they do it? 
How does the Shapes Company do this every time? I swear every flavor they make legitimately sounds like the thing they advertise. Made in China. What? What? Don't even say that. No, no, no. Made in Australia. Aussie, Aussie grown. Seriously though, like, pizza shapes? Tastes like pizza. Garlic bread? Tastes like garlic bread. Barbecue tastes like barbecue. Fried chicken shapes legitimately taste like fried chicken. It's weird. Oh. Your frilly shirt's made in China. Is it like the frilly shirt that, um... Seinfeld wears in that one episode? Where he's got the frilly sleeves? And he looks like a pirate. Damn, that's good. I'm going to turn off the aircon. It's freezing. My nipples are freezing off. You can stab a Eskimo's eyes out with these nips right now. And I'm back. Stream has been sponsored by Shapes. <laughs> Honestly, even though I'm usually going for um, Biscoff, Lotus Biscoff as my stream sponsor, I would take Shapes. If I got free boxes of Shapes in, uh, in exchange for a sponsorship, I would spruik the ever loving shit out of Shapes. You would hear about this every day. I'd start every stream with this stream is brought to you by Shapes. Mmm, the flavor you can see. Quenches hunger and cures erectile dysfunction. That is not an official claim, but, um, I mean, I get more erections when I eat them, so I'm going with that. Mm -mm. Hang on, I'm just going to finish this off since there's, like, none left. You want some? Oh. What movie did you watch, Sham? The second movie, after Black Phone. I'm sure for Udi, Biscoff and Shapes. See, I can take or leave Udi. Because, um... That's just something I always wear on my chill streams. Like, I don't need... I don't really get anything out of an Udi sponsorship. Like, they'd probably send me another Udi for free, but I've already got the one I like, so who gives a fuck? If you have sponsorships, it has to be food and drink. Like, if you were sponsorship, if you were sponsored by, um, like, the energy drink stuff, that, uh, Gamer Fuel or Mountain Dew or something, you'd actually get pallets of drink for free. Always go for food sponsorship, because then you get free shit. The Assignment featuring Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, was that a, um, a straight-to-DVD Michelle Rodriguez action vehicle? Yikes. Dude, I could tell you before even watching it that it would be trash. The problem is people like Michelle Rodriguez, as cool as she is, she's not a star film lead. She's more of a um, secondary character. Like, you'd see her as a um, a sidekick in, like, a Vin Diesel movie, but, like, the second I would see Michelle Rodriguez as the lead in an action film, I would just assume it's straight to DVD. Bargain bin trash. That's, like, I feel bad for saying that, because I don't have anything against Michelle Rodriguez, but she doesn't, doesn't have that level of star power to just randomly lead a movie like that. Like, she hasn't built up to it in that kind of way. She's still in the uh, action sidekick kind of realm. Way too many scenes of Sigourney Weaver talk. Sigourney Weaver's in it? Oh my god, that's painful. Poor Sigourney. She deserves better. Sigourney Weaver just cashes checks nowadays, though. 
Because she's got that old school retro star power. She's a classic. She's built us up as a classic B grade movie actress, so she can just show up and stuff and collect her bag. Yeah, Blackbone I saw had good reviews. I mean, the writer director is a good combo. Ugh. Okay. I'm back, bitches. What are we doing? You glad it wasn't that scary? Yeah, isn't it? Isn't the uh, supernatural aspect more like in favor of the kids? Like the the ghost element is trying to help the kids against like a pedo serial killer or something. Had two jump scares and that was it. <laughs> shit my screen tearing man okay there's this whole bottom region here the desert there's this spooky region which has a lot going on including a castle two towns two dungeons for archvale stones and also another direction going up here this is the poison place one town more directions i think the I think the game, I think the trick right now would be to go down here, because this desert is a massive dead end. One town, one one Archvale tomb, and then there's nowhere else to go from here. So once I've explored this region, it's all done. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Sinister. That's the one. The concept of the killer's victims trying to help the kids so the guy gets caught with such a cool concept. They make his basement to an escape room. I wonder if the concept of escape rooms is like partly what inspired um, the way they wrote that story. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright. Desert time. What are we using? Not the flail. Tomb. Oh, there's turtles. And bullet hell wizards. No, oh, that's a scorpion. Holy shit. I thought that was a wizard doing that. <laughs> oh, this is the region you get the poison sacks from. Nice. Obsidian shards. So this place you can harvest obsidian. Uh, bounce cactuses around for some reason. What the fuck? Don't know what that achieved. Poison snacks are, sacks are going to let me upgrade and craft a lot of uh, trippy shit. And I'm guessing the obsidian is going to use to make new armor. There's another movie you want to watch by that director, it's called Hush. Oh, that's on Netflix. The, um, the one about the, uh, the deaf chick. The serial, the, a killer sneaks into a deaf chick's house and she can't hear anything. Right? Is that the movie? Am I thinking of the correct movie? Oh, holy shit. Oh, that's too hard to aim. Back to book. I think that cactus might do damage if you bounce it around like that. Probably to me as well. I should watch out. I don't know, spike myself with that thing. Yeah, that's another movie that did really well. I heard, I heard critics talking that up. Oh shit. No, we're good. Sweet. Man, this desert ain't shit. Although I should probably not talk shit, because that's usually when I die immediately after. After getting cocky. That's a lot of obsidian right there. 
whatever I get to make out of this, I'm gonna get to make it real soon. Look at that. Yeah. Purple chunks. Um... I'm gonna guess that town's there for a reason, so may I might go for that first before I go for the two. You like the idea that since she's a murder mystery author, she can make scenarios in her head that will work and that won't work? Yeah, it's hard to make, um... Shit. It's hard to make supernatural horror movies and, uh, serial killer films, like slasher films nowadays, and actually have it be original and interesting. There's a lot of trash. A lot of trash that's the same old stuff. Wow. Wow, scorpions. Okay. Arc the fireballs around the corner. How about that? Good show. Nice. Hey, statue. Titty statue. Give me that defense up. Fantastic. More. Holy shit. It's a bison. It's a suicidal bison. <laughs> Damn, son. This region's got some funky enemies. I like it. I don't like the scorpions. The scorpions are frustrating. They're like the equivalent of a mage from the other regions. Next Halloween you'll watch one of the VHS movies at the fan. Um, why not watch them all? Like have a VHS marathon. Like go nuts. Have it on in the background where everyone, while everyone's ha Halloween partying. Just marathon, marathoning through all the movies. Hey, chest. What do you got for me? Cactus flail. Now we got two flails. The cactus flail is even better than the uh, slimy flail that I just crafted. That's frustrating. Oh fuck! That bison came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, the cactus hit him in the ass and hurt him. That's what the cactus is for. Good to know. Probably not the first one, it's got way too much nudity. I didn't know that any of the VHS has got, um... Got, uh... That risque. I thought they were all just really trashy B-grade gore. Fucking scorpion, man. They're the worst. Okay. Scorpions are officially my, uh, least favorite enemy of the desert region. Cool. You should put it on anyway and just see what the family does. Just wait for the nudity to come on and see how everyone reacts. <laughs> It'll be hilarious. Oh no. Too many baby worms. I'm just gonna go fire crazy. Here you go. Eat my bullet hell. Ooh. Oh, those worms can come out of any one of those holes, but only those holes. Got it. Fuck. Holy shit. That's a lot of obsidian. Alright. I'm gonna check this route and see if maybe it's blocked by something. Because there has to be a reason why I would have to go towards the city. Because really, all the whole uh, point of the game is to go for those... Uh, oh, fuck. It doesn't pause. It's Dark Souls rules. The whole aim of the game is to go for those tombs and get those Archvale 
artifacts. There has to be a reason why there's no reason to go towards this town. No, I'm gonna do it anyway. Whatever. First clip from VHS, a guy that's drugging and having sex with these girls, but this one drug is siren and ends up killing them all. What the fuck? Another section with a guy that's on Chatterbait website. Hey, I've been on Chatterbait. Chatterbait's great. VHS 2 and 94. Is 94 the one with the first person Doom style cyborg short? Is that 94? Oh, thank god. Titty statue. Yeah. There's a quick way to teleport back now. Oh my god. If I don't destroy those eggs in time, it looks like worms hatch. I didn't know that was a thing. At least I can't get spiked and injured by the cactuses. Unlike, um, Superland. 94 is the Doom section? Okay, cool. I thought so. I want to see that one. Holy shit. Okay. I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. The scorpions are a pain in my butt. In my butthole. Nice. Harvest gold, obsidian. Anything else? Nope. Sweet. Let's go to the moon, boys! One of these days, Lois, straight to the moon. Can I please? There we go. It's always these. Damn it! It's always these moon sections where I start to get a little bit of um, controller lag from being on the cloud server. Yikes. Yikes. Come on, next. I think this whole trial is about spinning orbs. Big, arcing spinning orbs. Yeah, there we go. Two? Nope. Usually by now they start spawning two of those. Fuck. Fuck. Oh fuck. That was lucky. One more? No, we're done. Soul shatter. When destroyed, protection hearts shatter into homing projectiles. Cool! I haven't looked at my badges in a while. That's not bad. I kind of like having the additional protection heart though, and increase magic damage. That's that stuff is really working out for me. Although this boss killer slime bubbler, I don't think counts as magic damage. I think it counts as range damage. I need to look I need to look into that next statue I find. Mad scientist gets his place raided and his cyborg creation goes mental and murders all the police. Is that the entire story? <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Mega Plump. I love me some Mega Plumps. Ow. I got bison. Shit worms. Anything else? Yes. This thing. Okay, that's it. Done. Ah, there's one. There's two. Sit in. What do we got? Town up ahead. I'll check that out first. This and a titty statue. I love it when the titties give me blessings. Oh no.
far out. There we go. So far, nothing has been as dangerous as the gnomes in the cave with the purple bullets that can kill me in two hits. I feel like the difficulty levels in this are a little unbalanced. Like, just in terms of what enemies are... How, like, how dangerous certain enemies are versus others in the game. Hello! I can't stand this place. A little too hot for my liking. Maybe I can get a repost over at the Spruce Point. I heard that place is pretty chill. That is not how the Questadors speak. How anachronistic. You want to read my flame book? I'll swap you my flame book for your halberd. No? Just gonna stand there with a bunch of epilepsies above your head? To hell with you. Build a bank. Take all my cash, please. Discover a new bank in Duskrag. You can now store up to 800 gold. Take it. Amazing. My gold is now safe. Let's put away... Slimy Flail. Maybe we'll keep that one, because flails are kind of fun. You're going to be watching an anime tomorrow? What, at the... At the theater? Oh, this is a little port town. Cool. And they have a dinosaur, a Loch Ness monster hanging out. Which wants to speak to me. Hang on, let me talk to everybody else. Aye, me fortune was just told. A rough morning lies ahead, lass. What do you think this means? It means a rough morning lies ahead. It's not It's not that deep, bruh. There's something evil lurking in Brink Reef. I turned me back on the stage for just a moment and crunch it goes me hand. It's probably that thing. Is it that thing? Did the Diplodocus bite your hand? Aye, the seas be restless as of late. It'd be a maniac to venture out into these waters. Why is there an Egyptian totem? They're really mixing their... their cultures here. A DVD called Bell by Mamoru Hosoda. The tape director is The Girl Who Left Through Time. Oh, neat. I've seen The Girl Who Left Through Time. I saw that at the theatre. There was like a, um, a film festival at Dendi in Canberra. And they had The Girl Who Left Through Time playing. I saw it there. Hi. I am indeed it's need supplies. What do you got? Flame. Ooh, heart containers for sale. That's never happened before. Winged bow. Okay, heart container. We'll take that for sure. Um, should I buy the winged bow? I don't know, lass. Oh, a pirate in a barrel. Yar, this me my barrel, go get your own! Okay, are you wearing pants on that barrel? If I took that barrel off, would your little pirate peenie be swinging freely? That rhymed, boss. Feel free to use that one in a, um, in a freestyle, Sham. Badge collection, yeah, this is the good stuff. Max badge capacity, that's what, oh, I just spent... If I hadn't spent the previous money, I would be able to buy that straight away. That is infuriating. Health restorations are stronger. Health potions grant temporary damage buff. Flails spin faster. Well, that's a bit lame. I'm not going to use a flail that often. Is that a crocodile boy? If I still had my gills, I'd dive deep into the sea. There's some valuable pearls. You, you lost your gills? How did this happen? How did this happen? Obsidian. Here we go. I can craft obsidian boomerangs, rods, swords, spears, axes, armor. I can make a bunch of poison shit. Cool. There's the bandit tunic and the crab stuff. Okay, toxic two-shot. We're gonna combine poison sacks with my two-shot bow. That's really cool. Alright. I now have a poisoned double arrow firing bow. Bag of poison knives. 
Do it. It's rad. There was a poison book. Oh, here we go. Poison wave tomb. My splash tomb combined with some poison sacks. Is that definitely more power? Yes. Craft it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 32 versus my flame one, which is 22. Wait, let's combine it. Let's wait, compare it. Um, higher damage, higher poison than I get burn. Lower rate of fire. But the lower rate of fire might be not as low as the increase in damage that I'm getting if I use the poison. Let me try this. Ah, oh, it's dope. Okay. I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna swap out my flame book for my, for the new poison book. How about that? How about that? This song is doing my head in. Wait, let's make some obsidian shit while we're here. Before I forget. Start with the armor. Obsidian helmet. Do it. Crafted 30 items. I sure did. I'm a gun like that. Obsidian plate. Plate mail. Attack speed goes up. Uh, it doesn't help me with my magic though. I'm still waiting on armor that, in that helps me with magic more. So I can replace my purple uh, wizard robes. Obsidian Boomerang, why not? While we're here. Obsidian Rod? What does that do? Just damage. Alright, whatever. Magic. We like magic. Is that it? Okay, we're out of Obsidian. It's a good start. It's a good start to all the good shit. Um... This fucking goofy song is great. I don't need the toxic two shot though. Not when I've got the slime bubbler. Yeah, let's put the toxic two shot away. Okay. Crab orang, crab helmet. Claw blade. I don't even use that. Why do I have that on me? Put that away. Cactus flail. Bag of poison knives. Bottom is just a bunch of random shit at this point. Actually... Um... Put the flail away. Poison book is my new go-to. Put the flame book away. Put the obsidian boomerang. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, that's it. Alright. Let's just organize this slightly. Because uh, I'm obsessive compulsive. Um, cactus flail is a desert area thing. Okay, that's fine. Don't have to waste time organizing stuff too much. There's no point. What is going on in this town? You're boring, you're boring. Talk to you. I guess we talk to Nessie. Well, hello there. Can I take a trip down to the brink reef? If you prepare me a delicious meal, I can hop aboard and we'll go down together. I don't trust it. 
I think this is how the other pirate lost his hand and now is a hook hand. Do not climb on a mysterious fucking dinosaur with a saddle. I mean, he's got a saddle. I suppose that's pretty trustworthy. A real craving for living vines. Grab me ten and we'll see about a trip. Uh, do I have that already? No. I'm guessing Brink Reef is a special... Check the map. Oh, here we go. However, I was wondering how you get to that tomb. I bet this whole area here is the Brink Reef. Which is like underwater. It leads to that. That explains a lot. Bring it in. Living vines and I'll do it on the That's me. What a weird thing. What a freak. Okay, um... I love the design of the bank. These fucking ripped as shit golden pink totems is the most gaudy thing. They got pecs, biceps, and them cum gutter abs. That's embarrassing, but kind of, kind of dope. Um, let's run off on foot. I'm gonna try out this new poison book. Who can I kill? Anyone? Somebody? Want to get murdered? Here we go. Holy shit. Okay, don't get wrecked. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Hey, what's this? Bomb power up. I don't really need that. The bomb has really come into use, except for that one boss battle where um, the bandit mongol dude is really slow. Other than that, it's kind of pointless. Obsidian. I definitely need more of that. Way more of that. I've got more shit to craft. I mean, this is all dead end. Boss? Queen Dune Worm. Alright, boss. Spice the Bloom located. Is this thing meant to be modeled after a Shy Halud? References? Oh my god, this is easy. Can I just attack the main worm? Oh fuck, what are you doing? I see. Oh, there you are. We'll probably bomb him a few times. Oh, there we go. Actual uses for the bombs. Enemies that stand still. Fucking bullet hell. We're fine. I'm really glad I uh, crafted this bubble laser. This thing is a boss killer. Oh, look at that damage. I need to upgrade this. It's probably going to cost me an absolute arm and a leg. If I get the blacksmith to plus five this thing... Oh my god. It'll be spectacular. Defeat the Queen Dune Worm. Shai Halud eliminated. Dune is now yours for the taking. Own eight hearts. Okay. I actually thought I had... Oh, okay, no. I see. An ankh. Crucial immunity. Immune to debuff effects when low on health. Well, that sounds boring. What a weird spot to put a boss. Like, right in the middle of the desert like that. And these books still rip it up. As, as weak as the individual shots are, the speed and the tracking ability of it is so, um... underratedly good. I can imagine a lot of people ignoring the books because the damage is so low, but holy shit. Thanks, Titty Statue. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. 
Also, base throwing. I forgot that was a thing for a bit. Base throwing is OP. Better be something good. Yes, chest. Thank you. Maybe it's a dead end for no reason. Jackal Spear. 168 damage. That is massive. Very poor range, but... I guess for a boss that's standing still, that could be pretty, uh... Be pretty good. Let's not touch that, because it'll resurrect enemies. Oh, they did anyway. The Jackal's Spear is hitting hard. I might have a go-to melee choice. Aiming is... Okay, wait, no. Just stand back here and do this. I think safety is paramount. That's the misleading thing about this game. Like, that spear really, like, wreck shot. And that makes you want to use it because of how much damage it does, but... Safety is still the most important thing. If I can stand back here and just spray these, I am more likely to be able to get through the game in one piece than if I was using the better weapons. It's just how it is. Dead ends coming up. Holy shit. Buy some time. I just walked through this board, so I didn't even give a shit. <laughs> Sometimes they don't hit very hard, so it's like, why am I even bothering to dodge? Titty statue. I'm in the skull. Get out of here. Gross. We don't know how recently that thing died. Holy fuck! Wow. That is wild. Never seen that many scorpions in one room before. This room is my actual nightmare. So there's a dead end that didn't actually pan out for any nice treasure. My least favorite thing in the world. Dead ends with nothing. Fuck off. Who's alive? Nobody? Y'all dead? Dead. I think if the game's stat screen gave you a DPS uh, statistic and not just damage and rate of fire, so it actually does the math for you so you can see what the damage per second is, I think you'd find that the books have a higher damage per second than the weapons with a lot larger damage. By far. Yes, thank you. Something. Buy a flower. What? Oh, that's the same as my firebook. What? 39 damage. 32. I mean, it's got more damage, but the rate of fire is down. Okay, it's interesting, but I don't think it's that great. Alright, we're done here. Okay, so now we know why that town exists, and why we even would need to go there. It's the way to get down into the ocean. Let's go bank. And then we'll go, uh, we'll go for the desert Archvale tomb. 
cash. Oh, we're full with 800. Oh my god. Let's go spend. Let's go spend. Badges, yes. Increase max badge capacity. For sure. That was expensive. I almost have nothing left. What did you have again? That bow is new. The winged bow. Buy for the collection. I want to have everything. And we can now craft more obsidian. Uh, we've got these two. Spear. Um, sword. Damn it, that was all. Wasn't there something else? Oh, hello. Wait. Infection staff is new. Ruby staff, 40. Okay, the damage goes down though. We gain poison. We gain firing rate. And it inflicts slow. Do it. Just because we can. Doom Rose. Undead Essence added to Fire Flower. Undead Essence means that top left area of the map, the spooky um, haunted land that I ran away from. I had, had to educate a guess. Widow Spear. A Jackal Spear with a Spider Weave. Spider weave. I bet that's also in the haunted, haunted land. That's probably the resource you have to mine. Snow angel. The winged bow I just bought. Upgraded with frozen capsules. There must be a snow land. That's probably where you get frozen capsules from. Making a lot of educated guesses. Bag of frozen poison knives. The, f the poison knives with some... Because some of these can get upgraded, like, in s so many more interesting ways. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Um, I bet once it's a frozen poison knife bag, you could probably upgrade it to something even crazier, and that name's going to get longer. Probably a running joke. Okay. Let's go put shit away. Um... We're definitely not going to use the fire flower. Wing bow, obsidians, and infection staff. What's this? Shell sloth helmet. Good defense. Attack speed is very poor. Put that away. Don't need that. Not going to use that. Okay. The obsidians. Getting there. The collection's getting there. I'm going to keep that obsidian spear in my, um, in my inventory because it's kind of rad. I might find a use for it yet. Alright. Time to head for the tomb. It's all the way over there. I can get this close. That's about it. Rest on foot. Need a horse. A horse in the desert will make this game look very wild west. Thankfully, a lot of these bullet hell bullets aren't hurting me enough to truly make the fact that I'm wearing these purple wizard rooms from the start of the game a bad thing. I was worried that I was um, missing out on a lot of de the defense that all the newer armors I found would give me, but I just I'm not willing to get rid of this magic magic up um, stat. Because my speed of magic killing is kind of paramount right now to my whole loadout. 
this build really requires as much magic damage as possible. But it's working out! Is that a dead end down here? It is. Hey Bison. You chit. Oh my god. Everyone dead? This was a pointless dead end yet again. Please, if you're gonna give me a dead end, just put a chest there or something to make it feel like I didn't waste my time. Because it's so much to ask. Poison worms. How is there money down here? Did I kill something across the room without even realizing? Oh, too good. Of that big titty statue goodness plus one defense. Where is my actual stats? Oh, they're there. 30 plus 7. Nice. Um, hi, I have a vase. Don't fuck with me. Oh, we've got new enemies. Some kind of wizard with lots of health. Someone actually formidable for a change. They're a bit slow. They bullet hole a lot, but they um, they bullet hell a lot, but their bullet helling is very slow as well. Hi hi. There you are. Gonna hit you with some laser. If you don't mind. They just stand there and take it. <laughs> Shit. I can't hit the broadside of a bomb with this thing. He says immediately before hitting every single shot in a row. I love that the Murphy's Law of video gaming works in reverse. When I say I'm going to be shit, I'm suddenly good at the game. Is this a secret? Nope. Or is it? Damn. Thought it was under something. There yet? Oh my god, this is such a long path. Skellies! Spear. Since they're stuck behind that wall, I might as well melee them to death. Dead end up, which means there might be some good shit. Or there might be a waste of my time. We'll see. Ow. Oh, those actually hurt. Um, surprised. Those hurt a lot. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, so those slow mages aren't a pushover. Holy shit, brother. What are you? Cursed mask. Oh, rad. That might be a unique collectible, that enemy. He must be a rare enemy. Just to get cursed masks, whatever those are useful. Got him. It's the fact that his fireballs bounce off the walls that's the danger as well. Is that it? 
Yeah, what's that? What's the curse mask? Head armor, defense minus four. Wow, but power goes up plus 20%. Oh shit, I put it on. Magic plus 40. I can't afford the minus four defense. No, I can't. I'm already wearing one of the weaker armors in the game for defense wise, just so I can get extra magic attack. Not worth it. Hey, you're new! Egyptian Skelly! Why is Anubis all shiny? Is this a thing? Can I do something with the statue? Probably not. It was sparkling, so I thought you could do something with it. That's just gamer thinking, okay? It's not me. It's games. It's how video games work. What is with this shininess? Feels like a secret, but... I don't know. Alright. Oh, thank god. Alright. Wait, where's my defense up? Didn't give me defense up. Lame. That's really lame. Okay, um... Let's spend some... wait. Not yet. Let's put cash in the bank because there's a achievement. That. Cool. Three ninety-eight. Oh, I still can't afford shit. Ooh. Okay. I bet I can craft more obsids. What do I need? A spear. Sword. Got spear, sword, throwing axe. Throwing axe. Um, got the helmet and the armor. That's it. We are crafted up to date. Away, away, away. Happy. I haven't found many, many rings. This is quite far in the game to get without finding any more rings. Okay, here we go. Bring it on, skellies. Suck. Oh my god, they can actually throw some very confusing bullets out of themselves. Oh, boy. Oh, didn't even see you there. Sorry. How are these just... Oh, this necromancer is conjuring them. He's new. There we go. Kill him first, then skellies. Ooh, okay, down is a dead end, which means potential chest. Hopefully, unless the game fucks me again. Oh my god. Oh, that's new. What are you? Fat Skelly. Alright. You die like the rest. Sorry, bud. Oh, he pops. <laughs> Fat Skelly bursts on kill. Good to know. I will keep my distance. Harvest Obsidian. The laser. Is that it? Alright. Oh, there's still more down here. Oh, it's just an enemy room. There's no chests. I 
Okay, so this direction was kind of a waste of time. Damn. I mean, I've got cash. That's important. I really wish I knew why these were shining and sparkling. If I find out later that's a secret I could have done, I'm gonna be so mad. There. Two more tiles. Shit, 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 shit. Fucking necromancer. Good lord. Throw a phase at him. There we go. What a kill. Eat it. Nice. Is that it? Alright. Hey, Egyptian scale. The pharaoh. I didn't see many of those floating pharaoh skulls. I've done all the obsidian crafting, so I probably don't need any more of that shit anyway. Yeah. Oh, if they're already repaired. It's only from repairing the statues. So not all the statues you find for the first time are in disrepair. Only when you repair them do you get the, um... What do you call it? The defense up. Bonus thingy in the jig. Here, take my cash. Six thirty-three. Okay, I can definitely afford something now. Hello, really traveler. I'm going to buy some shit. Let's get that health buff one. Bubble wrath. There's the one. Oh, I've got an extra point to spend. Whoops. But just one. Weapon projectiles travel further. Oh, I don't know. Range projectiles bend towards enemies. Ah, oh, I want that actually. Yes, I do. Additional protection heart. Oh, I want to keep that though. Let's try this arrow bender. Does it bend this? It's not worth losing the blue heart, actually. Whoops, no, I don't want to talk to you. Destroyed the protection heart shatters into homing projectiles. Let's catch that. Yeah. What the fuck are these? Archaeologist hat. Range damage 10%, defense 4. I don't need them, but that's new. I didn't know I even picked those up. Who the hell dropped archaeologist hats? Maybe some of the skeletons were carrying them? I guess? Okay, 
let's go. Poison book, you ready? Tomb of Kings. Another titty statue. Hi. Oh. I'm ready for a fight, don't you worry. I'm ready to get wild. Oh fuck. Easy. Easy shit. How do I get in there? What? Hmm. Hopefully in the direction. What's this spout? Oh, fuck. Don't worry about spout after skeletons murdered. Defeat 1,000 enemies? Already? Holy shit. I mean, you're killing a lot of things quite frequently, but I didn't realize it already reached 1,000. That means by the end of the game, I'm probably going to have between five, ten thousand, at least. What is this spout? Hi. God, everyone just wants to fight me. Get a life. Have a bomb. There you go. Bunch of pharaohs. Okay, we got a key. I don't see a keyhole. In the spout? Is this an Egyptian toilet? Is this where I, is this where I take a shit? I've got the reading materials. I can read about poison. While I poop in this. Blip. Spouts. Holy shit. Oh, hello. Fuck. Secrets? Is that how we get to the other side of that? Oh, it's locked. Wow. Eat poison. And be some laser. Or... Maybe some bomb and then run away. That was amazing. Is that Anubis that I just murdered? Did I just kill Anubis? Yes. Silver treasure. Finally, something to sell to that freak. Jeebus. Whoa. Maybe I should start using my health. Whoa, fuck. Where the hell did you come from? Don't bring the oh, okay. All the skeletons, corpses stick around. The necromancer to resurrect. Oh no. He spawned one outside them. Oh fuck. Can I stab him through the fence? Oh thank god for that. That almost glitched my game. Um Oh fuck. Little baby Nile here. <laughs> I mean, this tomb has a cool aesthetic. I love the whole Egyptian thing. It's rad. Oh fuck. Too quick. Uh, whatever's in here. Opulent ring. Finally. It's been a while since they gave me a ring. 
County. God, fuck. Wait. What's this ring do? Archaeologist jacket. I can dress as Indiana Jones. Opulent ring. Slain enemies drop extra gold. Attack speed plus six. I'll lose defense if I take off this ring, but I like gold. Do that for a bit. Vases. There's a lot of cash. Oh, what? Is that the way to the boss? Maybe. Let's go. Big fight. How much health does that fucking thing have? Whoa. What? Maybe it's immune to poison. We'll try laser. Oh, he just had a defensive spell on him. Okay. Not so bad. Oh, holy shit. We're done. That actually hurt his friends when he blows up. Couldn't tell. There's too much crap on screen to see the health bars. drop hearts very often at all. I think I have to be at least lower than half of my heart meter for them to drop anything for me. Seems to be how that works. Otherwise I just never see hearts at all. Hey Anubis! I killed the other Anubis. What do you think you're gonna achieve? Oh fuck, purple bullets. Purple bullets hurt. And they're still going. To, I think I should really go upgrade this poison book. I just don't want to spend the money on that. After I did it on the flame book, and now I don't even use the flame book. There's so much other stuff I need to buy for my badge collection. Which, wow! Ooh, okay, don't get hit by that. He's got a death laser. That's much more impressive than my laser. 
Not that size is more important than functionality, but he's got me on size and functionality, so, you know. Lame. Fuck. Have that. Oh, good, good work, bomb. Bomb actually panned out. I think these little tinier sorcerer skeletons buff the other creatures so they can't be hurt. So now they have to be killed first before I can even kill the necromancer, which is the other guy you gotta kill first. Otherwise he resurrects everybody. What a nightmare. Fuck, speaking of which. <laughs> These fights are getting intense. Just one at a time. Focus on one freak at a time. Oh my god. The defense once. I think they both put protection spells on them and also can heal them. Which both suck. Are you one of them? Oh my god, this room just keeps pumping him out! <sighs> Necromancer, kill him first. If you can. I'm trying. I'm trying my darndest. Are we done? Thank you, finally. That was the longest single room of just constantly spawning waves of enemies in this entire game so far. That was fucked. to go this way, right? Yeah, okay. Gates open. Um, what? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. What is happening? Wow. That was crazy. Um, another key. Open that. Oh, come on. Whoa. I forgot he did that. All my health potions. Um, where are we at? Chest. Oh no. Good. Glad that was short. I miss this chest. Oh, come on! I've been in all these rooms before. I don't need. Oh, my money is huge. Okay, don't die. That's a lot to lose. Let's pull your piss off. Mm. Oh, no. Ah, that's, that's why. Silver treasure, yes, yes. Okay, now what do I use this key? There's two parts. Okay. I get 
back to them without having to fight a bunch of freaks. Yep, this should be fine. Yep. Nice. Oh, fuck. Whoa, dude. Oh, shit. My controller lag just fucked out. They've got the little angry faces from Mario Brothers. That's adorable. Oh, what? Oh, fuck! Oh, I- Jesus. Alright, I see. Cool. Clever. Oh, amazing. What's this? What's that? Why are you following me? What? Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So, that's the way to the boss then. I've got to go find the... I've got the beetle key. I've got to find the iris key. Ah. We're going this way. I need another statue. I need to get back to... If you can give me a statue so I can go back home and bank all this cash, that would be great. Self defense. You slimy bugger. Uh, up or right? We're gonna go right. Oh, fuck. I actually prefer puzzle rooms at this point. How did you get all your health back? Who is buffing you? Oh, you. I see you. I see you. Got him. No more buffs. Oh, fuck. There was a warlock inside that fat skeleton's tummy. Maybe? More? Good lord. I'm gonna run out of health. There's some health. Nope. I lost health diving for that health. And I forgot that guy explodes. Wow. I'm in the shit. There. that cash. That looks like a big fight room. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna play this safe. I have been dicking around a lot looking for treasures, which causes a lot more fights than need be. Make a beeline back for the exit. Oh shit. Fuck. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's keep going downstairs. Oh, statue! Alright, we're going home. Are we not going home? Oh, I have to teleport back to the egg exit. Exit manually. Now we can go home. Wow, okay. But I don't lose any progress in that dungeon by cheapening out like this. Um, I got some cash for you, buddy. Golden Heart. And the tornado chain, yes. Are you now empty? Good.
Oh, money. Should I sell the treasures now? Jacket. I'll hang on to the bone crusher ring in case I need that. Where's the guy you sell shit to? Is he here? Maybe he's only in that one town. That's fine. I'm gonna do it later. Too close to being done with this dungeon. Dipsy. At least I got my full health and all my healing potions back. So I should be able to finish the dungeon from here. It's kind of cheap that you can kind of cheese it like that. Like, just leave, charge up and come back, and then go for a more straight line towards where you were up to. With let's fights, so you can retain all your health potions for the boss. Who is... Ah, oh, there you are. Mr. Buff. that one room that goes on forever. Why did I have to come back in this room? Sick. Okay. Actually, I didn't have to. That was completely pointless. I had to go up. You idiot. You little purple apprentice idiot. Oh, that's not Anubis. That's a different Anubis. He has a hat and a beard. That's definitely not Anubis. Fuck. Nice flies. They drop a lot of cash in this dungeon. That's actually super useful. Thanks. Um... Oh no. I forgot about that again. on my health potions, so so much for the, having them all for the boss. This one room just took two of my three health potions. That's not a good sign. Okay. This is gonna be a big fight room. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe. Okay, I'll try to hide in safety. Oh, those masks have come right at you. They're not trying to fight ranged at all. That's new. What's that black thing? What are you? Okay, hide. For your own good. Oh, that thing's fucked up. Oh, it's Anubis! Oh, his bullets can go through walls. Alright. Where is the collectible? That was the point of this room. Oh, it's right here. Okay. And 
this. Whatever this is. Blessing of power, attack is increased by one. Thank you! Got my game. Boom. Okay, this dungeon is as good as clocked. Okay, well soon. Back, back, back. Little bomb. Boom. Well, we both got lasers. How about that? Oh, fuck. Every single one of these Anubises now are coming with two healing sorcerers. Fuck those purples that go through cover. I mean, it's clever on his part. Flies are out, his defense goes up. Maybe? Is that how this is working? Yep. His defense is back. Kill this last fly, come on. Yep. Yay! Finish him off. Oh, copper treasure. Okay, copper is not really worth much, I think. Even as I say that, I realize I don't really know what the value of real copper is in real life. I just know in video games, copper is not usually that uh, impressive. Boom. Alright, we're ready. Farmer Gen 72 gold. I think we can do it. Boss? It's very quiet. The boss wants to make a dramatic entrance, that's why. It's a lady who said hee hee to me. Ignorant fool. The usurper must not return. You like the little golden snake in my head. I am now a sarcophagus. I am now a sarcophagus lion. What do you think of that? The fallen pharaoh. You're gonna fall again. What are these? Can I fuck those up? Nah, nah. That's a lot of bullet hell. Have a bomb. That worked out pretty well. In this bullet hell. This pharaoh kind of smells. Uh, I've run out of things to, to rhyme smell and bullet hell with. Freak! You absolute freak! These fucking things around him, her, are distracting my homing poisons. Yeah. Oh, the purples hurt a lot. <laughs> that was a waste of a heal. Yes! Be poisoned! Damn right. Double fallen pharaoh. Double fallen pharaoh all the way. Heart container. Na 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 na! Healing flask. You can now carry an additional healing flask. Yeah, yeah, I got four. Please let me out before I lose all my cash. I'm very paranoid. Yes! Oh, it's him. Man, you were the boss of the first dungeon. Get out of here, you lame-o. You truly can slay the undying, quite acceptable. 
The old king wielded power far beyond what you and I could have hoped to find. Um, so, yeah. Old mad kings coming back from the dead and me, a hero, also back from the dead to stop him. Is that the nuts and bolts of it? <clears throat> the undying could no longer be bound by the constraints of mortality. Plagued by the unspeakable hallucinations of malignant thoughts, they were alive eternally and sealed in the king's underground chambers. But with the king banished, the undying now protect the archpieces. Why are you telling me all this? Are you distracting me while you poison me from behind or something? There's no reason for this exposition. What are you? I am but a little boy in a purple robe with my poison book of... Plus five, toxic fuck you. Yes, new archstone. How many have I got? How is that only two of, how many? Seven? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, okay, I thought I was a lot further along than that. I'm kind of shocked. Um, but the routes that it takes to get to some of the ones that are left aren't that bad. What time is it? 1 a.m. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's go back to village. This village. This is a better one. This has got the guy that I can sell treasures to. You. Oh, a glint of glorious treasure. Let me take all the trinkets from this small child. I'm pretty sure he's scamming me. As if he would respect me enough to actually give me the proper gold this stuff is worth. But thanks anyway. Um. Oh, yeah. Mega plums. We need two more. Okay, got it. Easy peasy. What is this now? Archaeologist hat? No. Okay. Put the money away. 800 books. I need to find the next town so I can increase that bank amount. Ow. Okay. Desert area done until we have to go back to that town to use Nessie to go underwater. Um, Um, I think I'm. I don't think I want to spend my money on upgrading the book. As much as cool as that would be, I know when I get to the next town, there's going to be another one of these badge vendors and a shop that are probably going to eat up all my cash. Okay, so. Spooky land? Haunted spooky land or poison swamp? Poison swamp is probably where the vines are. They have to feed the 
ocean dinosaur freak. I don't know what the fuck to call that thing. Nessie. The Loch Ness monster. Merkmire? Do these hurt me? Oh good, I'm immune to spiked. Immune to getting spiked. Good stuff. All the flowers and the mushrooms here throb. I don't like that. Holy shit. Hopefully, everything in the poison swamp is still immune. I'm oh, sorry, is not immune to poison itself. Because that's my entire build right now. I'm a poison boy. Else? Yep, you. Kinda wish there was an achievement for killing things in vases, because I keep doing it just for fun. Where are we going? Town. Right there. Are you a creature? Spider weave to Oh, it's mineable. It's a mine point. Spider silk is the new mineable ore. Which means I'm probably going to be able to make some kind of spider silk armor. And shit. Um, can I do anything with these? Nope. Alright. Die. Holy shit. Get out of there. It's a death hole. Easy to get hit in the Merkmire. Emerald ring. I'm finally starting to find more rings. Spider weave, wisp dust. Oh, wisp dust was the other one. Range damage plus 10. Let's keep the extra gold ring because I kind of need as much gold right now as possible. Never have enough. What's this? Old Scythe. Cool. 220? Okay, that Jackal Spear is getting put away. That's for damn sure. Let me see what that's like. It's about the same speed as the Jackal Spear. But more powerful. Jackal Spear is definitely getting put away. Alright, Merkmire Town. Hello. Elegant frogman. Silly child. Okay. You've made a grave enemy this day immediately. Usually I say well met to strangers, but not well met. You look like you've never seen a frog with hair before. I haven't. You disgust me. Who are you? Kermit the Frog? Seems like nothing ever changes around here. And that's just the way I like it. Playing my loot in front of my leg. Goodbye. There's a lot of cool shit here. Okay, what can I craft with the new stuff I found? Nothing yet. A high. New stuff from you. Oh, we're definitely getting the high container. Damn Skippy. Wing bow. Oh, is that it? Oh. The Harkatini was the only new thing they had in this town. That's disappointing. Hello, bank. That's going to go up to 1,000, yeah? You can now store up to 1,200 gold. And I will. There you go. Okay. What else is going on in this town? Badge vendor, most important fella. What have you got? Increased badge capacity. Very nice. Summons a fairy that reduces enemy defense. Place all normal hearts with protection hearts. How is that useful? Oh, protection hearts can't come back. Defeated enemies provide minor healing. 
Holy shit. Healing on enemy defeat is huge. I'm saving up for that. That's gonna be a game changer. Metamorphosis hurts. <laughs> I'll be a big frog soon. Okay. <laughs> Metamorphosis. Gross. What does that even mean? Um. Alright, we need to. Is this. Are those tadpoles? Oh my god, blub. Also blub. Once again, blub. Another blub. All the blub. A menagerie of blub. So tadpole turns into this guy and then turns into full frog. Alright, we're gonna go explore some map and we need to make a thousand coins. Well, just enough coins to make a thousand from what's already in the bank. That was a giant spider. Did not like that. That's a baby spider. Still don't like it. Yuck. Are these the wisps? Are they the ones that give me the wisp stuff? Wisp dust. Yep, that's the wisps. Dark steel ore. Oh, this place has got spider webs to harvest, dark steel ore, and um, the wisp bullshit. This is a mining treasure trove. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of there. Get out of there. This place is a freaking nightmare. Take a vase. He died because he didn't take evasive action. Ha <laughs> ha! Kill me. I deserve it. Still, I'm surprised there's no achievement for using bases, vase eye to kill. Repair statue. Titty statue with the defense. Thank you. What is that? What is this? Uh oh. Soul Serpent. That is a boss. Am I supposed to destroy these? Oh my god. Okay, the scythe is actually quite good here. I'm glad I kept this. Skills to me. Guessing once I kill all these, you're gonna open up, right? Okay, well, I destroyed all the flowers, but I don't know what that achieved. The song is cool, though. Whoa. Well, it held my way through that. Oh, okay. I see. It's coming right for me. So it is about the flowers. Help. Come on, soul serpent. Please die. No. Again with this shit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, this one. I didn't actually fully kill this one. How did I miss that? Poison the fuck up. I'm hitting with these. The bomb is actually pretty decent if the enemy's slow enough to actually get hit by it. 
feel bad talking shit about it early. There you go. <sighs> Didn't expect to run into the boss that soon. But I think it's random the way these tiles are organized. So you don't know what treasures or enemies you're going to find on what tiles. Hot container! Na 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 na! Blue Lotus. Enemies drop more magic shards when damaged and killed. That's not really that necessary. Any other goodies? No? Okay. Sinister Sword. That sounds cool. 88. Well, that's not a patch on the scythe, I'll give you that. They need to give you a DPS stat, they really do. Because I can't tell if this can swing fast enough to make up for the damage of the scythe or not. It definitely swings fast, holy shit. Way fast, okay. What is outside of this map? Definitely a Whoa! Not out of Mirkwood yet. Who is still you? Who else? You. And a crocodile with panther legs. Two hit mine. Nice. Maybe the scythe's my new new go-to mining implement. My new harvesting implement, which makes perfect sense. Tangle growth. All right. Tangle grove has got a tomb. Also, a tomb out here in the middle of nowhere for some reason. Oh, down this way. Okay. So Mirkwood itself does not have... Does not have a tomb. But, oh shit. Baby serpent. I'm glad that the boss creature of every area can't, like, randomly respawn. After touching statues and respawning everything Dark Souls style. Oh my god, it is a crocodile in a monk robe. A jackass. I need to get out of here. Have a bomb. Good. That wrecked most of everybody that was there. For money. Only 252 after all that? Seriously? Oh, fuck. The frame rate's eating shit. When all that goes down. Terraria into the Gungeon of a Child? Hell yeah. Actually, that's a good one, actually. I was describing it earlier as, um, as just a Zelda, uh, Zelda bullet hell. Right, there we go. That's better. Uh, what have I got? I'm, I need to put away some of these weapons. That's fast. Okay, I'll put away the staff when I get back to town. I don't need that clogging up my inventory. I'm never using that again. Hey, Mega Plum! Haven't seen one of those in ages. Good. I need one more of those and I get more healing upgrades. Big titty statue. Defense up. Yes. Hey, Lemmy. I was asking Sham this earlier, if he thought this, but do you reckon this angel statue has big tits? Is that what that's supposed to be? 
So far, me and Sham have both agreed that, um... It looks suspiciously like that angel statue is big honkers. But I'm not sure what else it might be. Arms or shoulders. Hey, see, that's what I said earlier, Minx. Like, that shape is the arms folded like this and clasped or something, or, you know. But, um, it really just looks like big tits, man. Like, the little shape down the middle looks like the cleavage. I just can't unsee it. In prayer? I mean, I'd pray for the big titties. <laughs> The big titties are worth prayer. Let's go to this dead end. It's got to be something over here. That, aside from a scary bullet hell oak and a crocodile that runs like a dog. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Fuck me sideways. What is happening? Oh, are you doing that? Die. That even hurt him? What the hell? Meh. Everyone dead? Good. Give me your cash. Fuck your vase in the water. Yeah. Dark steel ore. I bet you can make some pretty dope armor out of dark steel. I can't wait to get back to town and test that. More dark steel. Nice. Oh shit, not nice. Ooh, more spider silk. Yes. I'd like to know what I can make with that too. Mineables? Anywhere? Mineables? Nope. Yeah, this next room better have a treasure or this entire dead end is worth nothing. Beach it. Gator Mage Staff? Oh my god, the Gator Mage had a Gator Mage Staff? That sounds amazing. Oh, it's like an Uzi. It's a magic Uzi. Bit inaccurate. I guess that's the reason I came all the way out here. For this. What's the damage output? 47. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't think it has the range or the, the homing ability of my poison book. It's kind of important to me. I'm gonna hang on to that. Blip. Just because I can. No one can stop me. No one can stop me! Black hair! Uh, where am I going? Down? Wait. Yeah, down. Hello, Statch. Might as well heal up, I guess. Hey, Gator Mage! Now that I know what your name is... It's actually such a cool name. I want to be a Gator Mage. The game should have let me choose my uh, character class at the start. My race. I would have gone Gator Mage for sure. Instead of small child in purple apprentice robes that refuses to get changed. Because he doesn't want to lose the magic buff. Even though my defense is suffering for it. Oh, good lord. Who? What? You. Good.
Whoa, that was a big screen tear. Holy shit. This game's only barely holding itself together right now, being played over the Microsoft Cloud server. <laughs> barely. Holy shit. No, I can't survive that. Excuse me. It's the one still alive. Did nothing in this dead end. That was pointless as well. Cool. This way. I've gotten to the point now where the bullet hell's got intense enough that I can't actually avoid all damage. I'm gonna need to start tanking some of it. Which means maybe I should change my robes for some actual armor. Let me throw this phase while I think. Oh, nice. Bomb power up! Where are we? Dead end to the left. Means treasure chest, probably. Hello, Spider. Goodbye, Spider. Never come back to my forest again. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Is that it? Just a big titty angel statue. Tig old biddies. Defense plus one. I mean, it's not very accurate. Them tig old biddies in real life, they don't really increase a man's defense, they lower it. <laughs> I know whenever I see a tig old bid. My defense drops way down. And then you make the stupid decisions. Ow. Come on, more harvestables. There you go. Dark steel. Alright. Dead end. Give me something good. Not enemies. I wanted chests. But close enough. You'll get it right next time. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. They're hammering me. Okay, there is a chest. Sapphire ring. Is that good? Enchanted oak. Is that a new material? Oh, it is. I didn't even realize I was finding that. Enchanted ring. Magic damage plus 15%. I do want that. Why can I only wear one ring? I've got ten fingers, mate. Should be able to wear a shitload of rings. This is disgusting. This is stupid. Um, oh, I want that plus fifteen percent damage to magic. Magic's my whole build. But I'm getting plus six percent attack speed. I'm getting gold. As long as I still have stuff to buy, I really want to hang on to that gold ring. Maximize my gold drops. Hello. Oh, excuse me. Some dark steel ore mining, um, smithing. Yep. Boring dead end. Let's go. Oh, wait. I should probably go on foot because there's still two screens I have not explored. Oh no, I've respawned everybody with the fucking statue. I'm a chump! Why have I done it?
Who's alive? You? Base. That's where I found the bomb upgrade. And this screen I've never explored. Another generic fight. Yep. Great. Exciting. Not really. a lot of you just for fun I'm going back to town anyway I don't care about my health hey okay no still one left now we can go back to town oh Running into all the damage. I really don't give a shit. Yay! Okay. Back to Townski. Let's. In the bank. Get my cash, bro. Yeah, fill that shit up. Why well, don't I have the achievement for banking yet? You found a weird rap battle animated YouTube video that sounds surprisingly good. Hang on to that. We, I can watch it on my next um, chill out stream on Sunday. That's the one, Darkheart. I'm stoked. Get that while I'm here. Okay, sweet. Definitely equipping this. Now, what do I need? Two slots? Two slots, all right. Take that off, put that on. Defeated enemies will now provide minor healing. That is gonna do me so well. That is gonna do me so well. Sweet, let's make some dark steel shit. Oh wait, is dark steel not as good as obsidian? Six, seven. Oh, it's slightly better. Oh my god. Wisp Silk Hood. I can upgrade my mage gear. I can finally throw away these apprentice, these purple apprentice robes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Octoshot. Is that a eight shot crossbow? Ooh. This is a lot. Wisp Silk Helmet? Wisp Silk... Where's the Wisp Silk Robe? Good. Well, I'm definitely making that. And putting it on immediately. Defense, protection, magic damage plus 10%. Oh my god, yes. Looking good. Oh, I look like a little succubus. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> but okay, if there's a, a wisp silk hood, where's the wisp silk robe? There's a helmet. There's a chest piece. Why is there no robe? Is it just down here where I can't craft it yet? Oh, that's bothering me. That's really going to bother me. What are the helmet range damage, extra protection? What do they cost? Enchanted oak and wisp dust. All right, we'll make them both. Make them both for the cupboard. I'm not actually gonna wear it. Okay, it's 
that taken care of. What else is new? Uh, Widow Spear. 220 damage. But I have to eat my Jackal Spear. Do it. Uh, that's better than the Scythe now. Whisper Mother Staff. Huh? Enchanted Oak Wisp Dust. Wait. Fairy Lance. Jousting Lance with the hammer. What's it gonna... 108? Do it. I need more Wisp. What was the Frost Ray? Something in the ice part of the game, wherever the hell that is. When do I get to make this moon jelly cap? Fungal cap cap? Tough scales. So this is a... I don't know why my menu has had this in from the start. This is clearly something next level that I can only build later on, and it's teasing me with it. Okay, I need a lot more wisp dust if I'm going to make that. Widow Spear was already made. Druid Bow? That's new. Oh, that's made from scratch as well. Snow Angel? Where is that... Oh. Spider Octoshot. It's still there. Enchanted Oak and a Spider Weave. Do it. What does that look like when I fire it? Oh, it's a four shot, but it double shots it for eight. Good for buckshot, but not great for accuracy and concentrated damage. Don't think. Oop. Oh, the Dark Steel. That's right. Well, I've got heaps. Let's start crafting that. Helmet. Dark Steel body. Still bow. Does that unlock any more recipes just from owning it? Oh, I can make a soul ripper. Undead essence. Okay, that's from the haunted land. I'll get there eventually. Okay, I think we are done. Storage time. Sorry, Octoshot and Fairy Lance. Sorry, Gator Mage Staff. Sinister Sword. Widow Spear and Old Scythe. Okay, they now are neck and neck with damage. Same speed, pretty much. Exactly the same speed. Okay, so, sorry, old Scythe. You were really cool for a second there, but... The spear just matched you. Dark steel bow, dark steel plate, dark steel helmet. Apprentice hood. Sapphire ring plus three. I'm definitely hanging on to that puppy. Not that, that's useless. Put that away. Fuck. I don't want to 
to take off this apprentice thing because plus five percent magic damage is so nice. Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna keep the extra gold thing because that gold. I need that gold. I need all of the gold. This chest is full of so much crap right now. It's unreal. Where are we going? Almost explored the entire Mirkwood. I guess just this bottom right hand section. Okay. Merkmeyer. Oh shit. At some point I'm going to have to splooge on upgrading this book maybe, because I've been I've using this book a lot and I haven't found a replacement yet. Nutcracker vs. Gingerbread Man rap battle featuring Snakebite126. <laughs> maybe I'll cut, maybe I'll, um, I'll save that now for Sunday. I'll write that down. Hang on. Notepad. Zip. There we go. Keep that on the side of the screen. Where's the game gone? Oh, there it is. Hi, game! Probably has the biggest difference between the two rappers. The Nutcracker absolutely wins. Well, that's a spoiler. Although the Nutcracker should be the winner. He's, he's, he's called the Nutcracker. He cracks nuts. The man's an absolute ball buster. Poison, 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 poison. That's me. My new hat is making my poison more powerful, and I love it. I need a robe to go with this hat. Surprise there's no cracking bars joke. There's not. They dropped the ball. Let's go to the moon. Welcome to the moon. Let's play dodgeball. Oh shit. That's a bit intense. This guy's going nuts. Oh my fucking god. Please. Oh, please. Oh, okay. I gotta follow the pattern. That's the key. Shit. Oh, I dodged right into it. Touche, game. It's the changing directions I gotta watch out for, because that keeps catching me off. There we go. What's next? Faster? Oh, two of them. Three of them! Holy Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! What a dodge! Well, that was exciting. What a champion. Oh my god. Quick. Quick. Oh, this isn't so bad. Why is that? Why was that wave so easy? Weird. Elemental Enchanter. Magic bombs are enchanted with a random elemental effect. Magic bombs. You mean this? Okay. That sounds like fun. Oh, is that a badge? Wait. Oh, it's a badge. No, I'm not gonna put that on. I don't have the space. <clears throat> as an ETG player, this is easy. You see hard as shit on the floor three. Yeah. Also, um, the way I'm specced right now 
is pretty good. Like, a lot of people wouldn't think to use um, the spell books. Because, look, the damage is only 33. But other weapons are like 108, 220. But not only is this fast, it has across the screen range, and these um, fireballs actually home in on enemies. They bend towards them. So it's the thing that's keeping me alive, really. And I'm at a point now where my defense is starting to let me tank a little bit. So all in all, I'm I'm well specced for surviving the the difficulty the game's at currently for this area that I'm in. But if you don't go to the right place in the right order as well, that kind of, that kind of fucks you up. Moon Jiu Jitsu class. <laughs> yeah, those uh, those trial rooms can get a bit tricky depending on the one. See this open world, right? Every different colored area is a different biome. A lot of them can be reached in any order, but some of them are like a lot harder than others, but it doesn't stop you from going there. So you can go to a much harder area than your um than you're specced for, than you're ready for, um, early, if you do it in the wrong uh, route. Like if I think if I went up here to this like haunted graveyard biome first before coming up this way, um, I would be way out leveled by the enemies. So if you don't really realize that you're under leveled for the area, you might make the game harder for yourself by doing things out of order. So that's one thing to be careful of as well. Multiverse is adding Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. <laughs> that was quick. But wait, why are they adding him if Shazam's not in there yet? Or is he? Is Shazam in the game yet? Yeah, spear. Spear is good for um, harvesting. Now that it's upgraded to 220. Oh yeah. Spider Octoshot. Oh my god, I just crafted one of those. What a waste. Lame. There's a dead end up here. What's this? Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is the way to the ice biome. Okay, cool. That's a whole new biome. Let me just check what's down here first. Oh, just because it's the popular movie right now? Yeah, I mean, I assumed. That's kind of shitty, though, if they don't have Shazam in the game yet. And they've already got his, um... His enemy. They've already got, they got the Shazam villain in Multiverse before they've actually got Shazam. It's just kind of funny. Okay. Oh, Mega Plum. Okay, that's enough to upgrade my healing vials again. Sweet. Oh no. Fuck! We done? Not quite, let me just get this. Die. Thank you. Stop tanking. I'm getting lazy. Harvest. Harvest. Dark steel? Yes, I need lots more dark steel. Is that it? Nah. Hey. Repairable. Angel titty statue. Give me that defense. Defense up. Defense plus one. Oh, fuck. What a 
dodge for a split second there. I was golden. That was golden. Who's alive? Gator Mage. I'm actually like so stoked about the name Gator Mage. <laughs> I just think it's a rad name. Everything got? Okay. Dead end? Another try. Another trial? This is the first. I think this might be the first biome that's had two trials. Blip. Sweet. This one might be easier. Whoop. Next. Oh, fuck. Okay. Took that on the chin. Blue. No. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. They're actually firing slower. Well, that's if they were firing at the same rate that that previous wave was this this would have been insane They copped out Burning quiver chance to fire a burning arrow. Well, I'm not gonna use bow and arrows. It's not my loadout Give me something that goes to spell books. That's my jam It's my jam Okay, um... One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna statue back to this one. Or, straight back home. Thanks some cash. 306. Oh, hello. Druid Bow, Wisp Mother Star. Wisp Mother Star. Can't believe I built an Octo Bow and then they gave me another one out of a fucking chest. What I get for jumping the gun with crafting. Okay, what? Done that, done that. Dark steel stuff. I'm not gonna have enough dark steel to make all this. Much leaving the zone now. Hmm. Do I have enough to buy the last badge? 400. No. I'm shy 100. That's fine. Okay, well. Merkwood had a boss, but it did not have a Archvale vale tomb. But this ice place is going to. I can see it on the map. path. Cool. 
building tension. Pine Peak. That's actually got a relaxing soundtrack up here. Less pulse pounding than some of the previous places. Like the desert was fucking intense. Music wise. This is nice and chill. Get the big titty statue built. Thank you. Blessing received. A statue. Here's a blessing of my own. Boom! Like a vase. Like some poison. I'm full of blessings. What does this place look like? Oh, there's a town here. Let's go check that out first. Ice town. Undead essence frozen capsule. Oh, the undead essence comes from this ice peak, not from the graveyard haunted biome that I haven't gone to yet. That was unexpected. Cobalt ore. Okay, we're gonna be able to build some cobalt armor. Cobalt doesn't sound as good as obsidian or dark steel. But those are, I think they're just names. Don't think it matters. What the hell are these? Oh my god, I don't even care. Just slam it with poison until it dies. The usual. Where are we going? Down. Or, wait, what's the question mark? Hang on, there might be something important up this way. And there was. Snowflake cannon. 96. Oh, cool. Holy shit. That's pretty rad. Okay. I'll use it on the way to town just as a test. This seems pretty dope. Not very accurate, but... Holy shit, it's all over the place. Okay, never mind. Back to the homing poison. Good job. Can this be harvested? Wood? No. The fuck is this? Snowball demon. It was a cum lump. It's more like a cum lump. Jesus Christ. Isn't this doing 220 damage? That's 55. Oh, wait. Okay. Why is it so weak when destroying Cobalt? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, fuck. Okay. Get out of there. Good. Okay, so... Quadruple 55s versus one... Okay, it is actually better. Strikes for multiple hits per strike. That's the, that's the key. Yeah, 455 is much better than one 108. Big titty blessing. Grab it up my day. Spruce point. I don't like that the villagers don't have their own special music when I visit them. That sucks. Hey. 
What you got? Same old shit. Soul Thief Dagger. Maroon Arc Bow. Heart container. The most important thing. Everything else we can wait on. Bank. How much is that going up? Store 2,000 gold. Yeah, yeah. Let's put this cannon away, because blue. Nothing special there. in this village that can... Yeah, there's a blacksmith spot. Ah, badge man. Oh, good. The badge that I didn't buy in the previous town carries over. That's really convenient. Thank you very much. Get an additional heart. Get an additional dash. Max badge. Oh, well, let's buy these two, because easy. Complete half your badge collection. Only half? I was doing better than that. What can we do with what we've collected so far? Steel, obsidian, cobalt. Here we go. Cobalt breastplate, cobalt helmet. Oh, I didn't have enough to do the helmet. It's just a fence. Okay. At some point, I want there to be some magical armor that's as good as melee knight armor, but also gives me magic up. That's... I'll be screaming when that happens. If I go up, check the dead ends, get the statue teleporter ready here, check the rest of this, and then come back for the tomb. Although I do need to travel back. What's the town? This town. I need to go get that plum juice made by the frog chef. Hey, dude. Take my plums. Make it a plum juice. Oh, that's a four, that's a four plum special. The next one's going to be a five plum. Juicy. Healing level four. Need five more plums to cook a new... Okay, cool. Do I have anything to sell to him? No treasure? I will have treasure soon. I'm about to go to a dungeon. As a matter of fact. He's ready for dungeon action. Oh, fuck. It's dangerous out here. Take that, blue guy. You loser. These guys are kind of rad. I'm not going to shit talk these guys, because even though they're not that formidable, they look cool. And that matters a lot. That counts for a lot. You can't be dangerous, look badass. Have I played Epic Battle Fantasy V? Um, Walter White making meth. No, it's, um, Walter Green, because he's a frog. But yes, he was making meth. Um, I have played one of the earlier Battle Fantasies. I've got two of them on Steam. I would need to catch up a little bit. One of them is a browser game, right? The earliest one? Like, it's not even Steam, it's like straight up just a browser flash game. It's really good, it's not that serious. I don't think any of them were that serious. They're good, like, parody RPGs. Bomb power up! Yeah, buddy. Take my spell book of green toxic bullshit. Shove it up your ass. It's one of those cum yetis over here.
Yum, yum, yum. A lot of cobalt, but I need a lot more than that. The cobalt... The uh, cobalt armors and stuff require a lot to build. The lore from previous games is irrelevant. See, I can't remember if they're connected together at all, so I guess I forgot that part. It's been a while. Around that time, I was also playing the um, Penny Arcade on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness RPGs, which are similar, like, basic graphics parody RPGs by the Penny Arcade guys. Those are pretty good, too. Oh, three and four do connect? Oh, okay. I just don't remember very well. It's been so long. Holy shit. Man. This spellbook thing. I'm really glad I uh, happened upon this strat. This has really worked out for me really well. Despite how underleveled the book is. It's just still so effective. Imagine if I leveled up this book somehow and actually increased its power to be the equivalent of some of the more recent weapons I've found. I would actually be unstoppable. It'd be game-breaking. There's a Steam version and a free mobile edition and a Steam edition. So the Steam one costs money, but they give you extra dungeons and modifiers, right? That'd be worth it, because it would still be cheap though, right? Like, those, those wouldn't be expensive games at all. Plum. One down, four to go. Mega Plum. Sexy chest. What is this? Tomb of Balance. Huh? Oh, wait. This is like what I'm... Oh my god. This is like the poison one I'm using, but... What? Range the same. Firing rate's the same. It's damage up, but... No poison, basically. Let me try using it. This could be good. Steam version has the best parts of the game. I mean, I will probably eventually because I have played one or two of the older ones. So I would like to catch up eventually with that as well. Teddy statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessing received. Let's see what this is like. Is it still home in? Yes, it still homes in. It does. I don't know if the better direct damage is better than having the poison status effect. It does feel like it's killing faster though, I like it. I might stick with this, uh, this new white spell book. Even though I lose the poison, whatever. I'll live. Mineables? Mineables? Mine? No. Okay, there's the um, Archvale tomb for the next artifact. I'll just clear the rest of the map and then come back. If the Ice Realm has got its own Ice mini-boss, it's going to be down this part of the south. Because that's the only part of the map left. Of the Ice map that I haven't been to. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, dude. Sasquatch. 
The Sasquatch Ground Pound is pretty... It's pretty lethal. Hey. Okay. Harvest time. It's so much cobalt here. That sound effect is like ASMR level satisfying. The crunching of the uh, the ore that you mine. Ooh, trial. Do you mind if I do? Bloop. He always face plants on the moon. <laughs> I think by now he would have learned how to land properly. E shit. Oh, these ones home in. That's different. Tricky. Fuck. Oh, what a move. Ah, oh, they got me. I didn't see them congregating down the bottom there. Too busy looking at the bullets themselves. My bad. Ha ah. Should have run away. Should have just dodged through. Lessons learnt. Nice. One more. Seems about the same difficulty as the last wave. What is going on? Winner? Winner. Disarming dash. Dashing through enemies weakens their armor. That's kind of cool, but it's a bit too technical for my build. Like, it's just completely unnecessary. My whole strat is to stay away from enemies completely. <laughs> Cast magic from a distance. Arctic Staff. Cool. Whoa! Jesus! Chill. Wow, okay. These things, when there's at least two or three of them? Oh, they can launch some bullets, man. Come, Sasquatch. End you with the power of Sasquatch semen. Yes. This is a long way to go to find this snowball. Let me shortcut back to village once I found the boss. Oh my god, it's one of these two last tiles. Holy shit. I should have just come straight up here first. Okay, it's gonna be in the very last tile I look at. What are the odds? If I'd gone up one more tile from when I first came in this area, I would have found the boss like immediately before I'd done anything else in this entire biome. It's better I did it the way I did it. It's almost more climactic when you do the boss last. Boss? No, it's a plum. There's no Snowland boss? Or did I already... Defeat the Soul Serpent, but... Oh, you know what? It's because this place has an ice tomb, so the boss is actually inside the dungeon. 
holding on to the next artifact. That's why there's not one out here in the snow. Makes sense. Okay. We need to bank. 578. Badge capacity one, so we'll save up. Um, cobalt crafting. We can make the Soul Ripper. Mm. Two thirty-one. That's gonna beat the spear. That's my new best melee. There's a heap I can do. Soul Ripper. 20 out of 20 undead essence. That's gonna use all my undead essence, but let's go. Cool. to make these? Oh, the ice bits. Alright. Well, let's... There's the snowflake cannon that I've already found in a chest. Bag of frozen and poisoned knives. That's hilarious. We're gonna make that. Is there a new type of bag of knives we can make? Please tell me there is. There's one achievement that I heard is tricky. Equip a shark cap and a mermaid tail. Cool. Um, there's one for making like a tomb or something. Let's see. Let me just let me double check this. Archvale achievements. Defeat, 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 defeat. Ooh, fancy sword. Assemble the arch lexicon. Is that the one? Craftable item that becomes available in Anvil once a player has found one of the three required ingredients. Required ingredients are Rift Codex, Break Grief Codex and Tangle Grove Codex. Ingredients can be deleted through the inventory interface and cannot be recovered once the game is saved. You will not, you'll have to start a new playthrough. Okay, so I don't delete things. So that won't happen. The location of each ingredient is random, but they were always found in a fixed map chest. Uncover each map tile available to you. Rift Codex is available in Lava Biome, Brink Reef is underwater, and Tangle Grove is in the jungle. I haven't been to either of those three yet, so they must be some of the more endgame biomes. I wonder if the codexes are like the magic books, in which case they're like weapons that can be used individually up to the point where you craft them together. Oh, that one is also missable. All right. Oh my god, now I'm stressed at this actual missable achievement. I think that's all the special ones though. Nothing else here is fancy. Everything else is defeating shit.
complete arena challenge. Twisted caverns. Uh, vine barrier blocking tangle grove. That's different. Shark cap and mermaid tail. We'll just check if that's missable. Shark cap and mermaid tail can be crafted once you have 50 tough scales. Drop from fish and underwater biome. Once you have 50, go to blacksmith's anvil, craft the shark cap mermaid tail. So it's 20 sh for the shark cap, 30 scales for the mermaid tail. Oh, so 50 total. Do I have to just craft them or do I have to wear them? Oh, yeah, equip. All right. I will keep that in mind. I guess that's something you wouldn't think to do on purpose unless you actually looked at the achievement list. Okay. Build some ice shit while I'm in here, why not? Are there any ice pieces? No. Cobalt helmet though. Yes. Cobalt crossbow. Cobalt dagger. Yep. Getting most of the cobalts done. Albeard. Rod. Just a rod. Alright. Ray, frozen short sword. All right. Oh, that uses up the gold mace. Do the sword. And that's it for now. With the storage chest. Hey, let's put stuff away. Uh, sorry, poison tomb, but. The Tomb of Balance is the new shit. Sorry, Widow Spear, but the Soul Ripper is the new shit. Arctic Staff. Nope. Bag of Frozen and Poison Knives. As hilarious as that is. Let me put you away. Cobalt Helmet. Short Sword. Rod. This. This. Or can this chest fill up? Can we actually fill this whole thing up? Is that possible? Maybe. It looks like there might be a bottom to that. Yikes. What do you have again? The Maroon Ark and the Soul Thief Dagger. Cool. Alright, let's go to the dungeon. Hello. This place looks lovely. That sounds like sarcasm, but I'm actually serious. This place looks nice. Oh, arrows on the screen. 
Oh, that one's closed. All right, never mind. One way to go then. Hello. Oh, I don't have my weapon out. That was silly. Oh, books are attacking me. And they die incredibly easily. In fact, everything does in here. This place might be easier than the, um... The Egyptian one from the desert. Maybe I did this stuff out of order. Maybe this is actually meant to be an easier part of the game than that section. And I came here. I went there first. I mean, they might be easier to kill so far, but maybe they're going to just dump a shitload on me. I feel like there's no point in upgrading anything at that blacksmith because um, by the time you find something else and it becomes redundant anyway and in that time you could have been spending the money on buying the badges you need to collect which you always don't have enough for. Dead-end fight room? Yep. Oh, there's a Mega Plum in there, though. Fight hard for giant plums. It's important for a growing boy's health. Vitamins. And all this broccoli. Have this broccoli. Vitamins. Dungeon's kind of dull. It's just tiny square room after tiny square room of just fighting books with wings that die as fast as real books in real life would die. Oh. Reward. Silver treasure. Thank you. Oh my god, he can make crystal skulls. Jones is going to be so upset. It'd be kind of funny if um, it was actual Crystal Skull uh, DVD cases <laughs> that he conjures that flies around and attacks you. Be more uh, scary, too. Oh no. I see, I see, I see. I have to use dashing to change direction on ice. Or infect. Big fight room? Yep, huge fight room. Here we go. Shit, more. What was that on that one? Is he healing somehow? What the fuck? I think I have to keep the damage up or he heals himself. Yep. huge. It went on for a while. Oh, more. Oh, there you are. 
Mr. Uh, Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull wizard. Good job. You're a credit to wizard kind. So is your cousin here. You will die too. Where is this? There he is. All done. All the cash picked up. Yeah, buddy. It's also so far completely linear. It's not elaborate like the the desert Egyptian one with keys and different routes and complex puzzle rooms. Like complex by this game standards, anyway. my health go down in a while. I think this um, badge that gives me health on enemy kill is really wreaking havoc. What's this? Nice. weird how much of a pushover this dungeon is. Both in being linear and basic, and not complicated to explore at all, and the enemies being easier than everything I've encountered so far. Heard him? Oh, yeah, good. Got most of his health down. Dig it. This just feels like a massive combat dungeon. Whoa. Actual living mines. I think they want to explode. That's how they get me. Yeah, have this. Why is your health not going down? There we go. Tried to get your minions. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, when there's lots of these together, that's kind of crazy. Mostly annoying. Big tit room. Oh, fuck, here we go again. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, my way through that. Oh, fuck, more. Usually there isn't two puzzle rooms in a row. Oh, fuck. Now we got this. Don't got this. We got this. I was a bit tense. Oh my god, three in a row. Fucking get it. It's elaborate dash bullshit. There we go. Okay, it's enough. Frost, Frost Bastion Ring does what? Evade damage to gain an ice shield. Defense up by five. Meh. 
Not impressed. Holy shit. Oh, there's a double wake for that. No wonder I keep getting hit. I need to dodge over both. Die, wizard. Die. You know, join the cream of the crystal skull. Wizard. Just fucking. Yeah. Oh my god. You all love fighting in this dungeon, I'll tell you what. Driving me mental here. Okay, one of them definitely has a healing. It must be Crystal Skull Guy. Because he's a wizard. He got the book. Oh god, I'm getting hit by all of them. means treasure. Yes. Blessing of power. Power increased by one. Just the general concept of power. But like physical power, emotional power, political power. How about, do I have a seat on the Senate? Oh, fuck. What a shot. I placed that bomb well. Oh shit. Motherfucker spawn right on me. Stop healing. Alright, whoever's healing. I need you dead. You. I saw you do a green thing. Green means heal. Okay. okay. I copped a lot of damage during that fight, but it's still kicking. There we go. Fixed it. Boss? Oh, an old man, with a Kratos red scar on his eye. My king, please let me prove my allegiance. I will not hesitate this time. This child should die by your command. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, the exiled wizard is not getting around. Jesus. He's going off. Have a bomb. Enjoy that. Oh, fuck, he moved. <laughs> oh, bullet hell. Oh, that's some real bullet hell right there. Please tell me you can't heal or something stupid. Oh, here we go. It's a little bit annoying. Heal. Good boy. Good thing I saved all of those for this fight. Oh, the bullet hells. This bullet's holding. Yum that. I'm kind of impressed though. Such a basic, easy dungeon. This is a decent boss. Wow, there's a lot of going on. Wait. Oh, how dare you! Oh, fuck. Ha, ha, ha. Rectus. Dominus. Oh, please die. Oh, my God. This feeling is, that's the feeling of death. Thank you, child. Oh, you wanted to be killed. 
released from his misery. That was neck and neck. He actually really caught up to me at the end there. Far out. Heart container. Na 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 na. Healing flask. Na 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 na. Is that five? Sweet. It sounds like when I shove my spoon into cereal. There it is. Oh, here comes Mr. Exposition. The old king's godlike power was bestowed upon him through nature, for sure. Are you? Who are you? In relation to all this. With more than a thought, he disposed of even the mightiest warriors and grandest wishes. It was clear that bow blade nor time itself could bring the old king down. You know what will bring him down? This child and his horned, hooded bullshit. And his poison book. He seized the kingdom, killed and cursed those who fooled nothing and not him. The reign of Jera lasted centuries, and he thought of eternal. There are four more art pieces to collect. You best be on your way. Well, you want me to do it? Okay. This is one of those things where I collect them all for myself, but then it turns out I was just collecting them for the enemy, and that's what he wanted all along. Because good lord am I tired of video games doing that. That old ditty. Well, six hours in and we've got three of seven. I thought I would be making more progress than that. Back to town. Okay. That is the Ice Kingdoms collected. Four left. One underwater. Once we go through Mr. Dinosaur. One in the Haunted Realm. One in this region, whatever this place is, that I discovered the entrance to, but didn't actually... I should have gone one in just so I could unlock the... There would be a statue right there. That would have been smart. Because now I have to go back here and go up a couple of tiles. And then whatever's here. We just have to go through the haunted realm, through this town, and then up here to figure out what's up here. I bet... One of these is the fire lava realm. One of these two. Because that's underwater. That's haunted graveyard land. One of these is fire. And the other is jungle. I'm going to guess this is jungle because this is very green, this entrance block. So this must be lava realm. Yeah. Okay. It's bank. 1866. That's a lot. Oh my god, my money's still coming out of me. It's a lot. Um, might be able to clear this guy out. Bad slot. Yeah. And this thing. You empty now? There are. 700 left to spend. Should I buy her? These two. Actually, no, let's leave them there, because these shop items will carry over to the next town, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, Alright. Maybe craft? Did I get any new materials while I was in there? Oh, I got some ice stuff. I can increase... I can upgrade the Doom Rose with the Undead Essence. Let's do that, that's cool. Doom Rose. 49. Not actually useful. It's more like a staff with poncy damage. I guess I can make some ice shit. Who should tell me how much of each I've got? The winged bow turns into a snow angel. Wait. Okay, what have I done? What have I done? I like it when this chest is near the blacksmith anvil, so it's easy to run between the two. 
something's missing. Wait. Did not like that ring. Gonna keep the magic magic damage ring until I don't need money anymore. Then I'm gonna switch to that. Two more plums is all I need. 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 Frozen short sword, Arctic staff, the cannon. Frozen short sword and Arctic staff, any two I've got. Frost Ray. That has to use up the Golden Scepter though. Glacial Spear and Snow Angel. Snow Angel. Frost Ray. Cool. Alright. I love how much stuff I craft that I'm just never actually gonna use. <laughs> I just like to have a collection. I'm a hoarder. Doom Rose away, Snow Angel, Frost Ray. I've really given up on organizing this menu. Okay, let's let's actually go back to the home village. Hey everybody! I just want to sell you some junk. I've only got one thing to sell you. Look at it. It's a lamp. What are you going to do with all this crap? Um, bank? Take my money. Okay. I wonder how many tombs there are. Let's find out. Um, arch? Wait. Archvale. Tomb. Archvale tomb. Tomb of flame, tomb of balance. I've heard the Tomb of Balance is the best weapon in the game, but I don't know yet. I'm going for a versatile setup where I've got magic. Wait, the Tomb of Balance is the best weapon? I used Tomb of Balance for a long time until I got the Fire Area and picked up the Staff of Rift. Okay, so Archvale Lexicon is the missable achievement for combining the two lexicons into one super weapon. It's definitely the best weapon, but it seems like the Tomb of Balance is second best. So maybe... Hmm. Interesting idea. If this weapon is so good, second only to the endgame weapon, maybe I should upgrade this. That means I'll be using this all the way up until I get that. How much will this cost? 180! What do I get for it? Just damage up? I'll do it. Okay, rate of fire and damage up. 
do it. Alright, this is now getting expensive. Tomb of Balance plus two. I love it. I love it a lot. My new favorite thing. Okay. Save. Saved? Alright, so plan for next time. We go back to Desert Town. See if the dinosaur will let us underwater. Then we go to Jungle. Then we cut through Haunted Land to go to Fireland, and then we go to Haunted Land. Sounds like a good combo. What's this castle? This might be the end game up here, I'm guessing. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Cool. So I'll have the game finished in one more stream tomorrow night. Easy. Easy peasy. Stop saying easy peasy. That's some grandma shit. Archville's fun. I enjoy Archville. When are you fixing the headphones? Um, well, I have no idea how to fix them. I've looked at them. Um, it's one of those deals where I have to wiggle the cable around in different angles to make the sound kick back in properly. Otherwise, it's like it sounds like it's missing channels. Like I'm only hearing one of a 5.1 channel. Like all the bass goes away. The center channel that usually holds all the dialogue or the lyrics of a song disappears. And it's just like some basic instrumental part. Like when I was playing, um, what was the game I was playing when my headphones crapped out? Oh, it was Next Space Rebels. When I was playing Next Space Rebels, every time a cutscene happened, I could hear the background music just fainter because it was missing some of the instrumental channels. But I couldn't hear the dialogue at all. Like they were just lip flapping. Until I wiggled the cable and then everything kicked back in. So yeah, I've ordered two more sets of headphones, two different brands from two different websites. And I'm going to see which one arrives first. And then the other one will be a backup. So that way, if I crap out some headphones again, I'll have a re replacement pair already. Um, it's a headphone race. It is. <laughs> Well, that was, it was a double idea. I was like, let's see which one arrives first so I can get back to using headphones as fast as possible. But um, more importantly, having two pairs is going to have a backup. So if it breaks, I'll never run into this problem again. It's really good to have redundant everything. Like if you've got just enough Ethernet cables for all your internet, get one more. If you've got just enough HDMI cables, get one more. Um, I have two different podcast mics, so if this breaks that I'm talking into right now, I have another one ready to go. I can't afford another stream. I can't afford another camera as a backup because that camera costs two thousand dollars, so that's not happening. I'm definitely not getting two of every Elgato light because holy shit, Elgato lighting is expensive. Like I've got a key light that's on my face over the computer screen. There's the ring light back here that's doing like back of my head rim lighting. And then there's another key light air down here that's doing the pink light. So that there's more than just blue going on back there. A little bit of purple combo. So that's three different Elgato lights. Those are so expensive. I'm glad I bought stuff like this before I was poor. Because I don't have the kind of money nowadays to be getting any kind of gear like this. You could stream without lights and camera if that happened anyway. No, I can't. What are you talking about? Doesn't even, that doesn't even make sense. That's like saying I could stream without um, an, uh, a capture card or a computer. I'm not here for your face. Oh, that's true. You do spend most of your time listening than seeing. While you multitask. That's what Sham does, actually. Uh, Brother Sham. He's in here quite frequently, but he tends to um, be on audio more often than he is seeing the visuals because he's, uh, 
he works at McDonald's and while he works out in the kitchen, he, um, he listens to it. You've been there since Sham asked for his dad, Shadow. I do remember you piping up a lot earlier. I can't remember what it was about. You, you piped up briefly to answer something out of the blue. And I assumed you have been hovering ever since. <laughs> boobs. Actually, you said something before boobs. There was something much earlier in the stream, closer to the beginning. I'm sure of it. Because when you said the boob thing, I feel like I already knew you were there. Because I basically just answered you and didn't say hello or anything. Are you sure? Because I feel like I knew you were there before the boob thing. For sure. Unless I'm going crazy. Uh, maybe I just see minks everywhere. When I'm in the kitchen making cereal, I'm just like, I just start talking to minx. <laughs> I just start talking out loud like you're there. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this the actual... Yep, there's the hands collapsed together. Where do you go to see your chat history like that? Chat log. Oh, okay. I've never looked to open a chat log before, so I didn't know that was there. Oh, I can see it if I click on your name. Oh, cool. Wait. Oh, look at all your badges. Moderator, founder, hype train conductor, prime gaming, cheer one, cheer 100, bits leader two, five gift subs. You have so many more badges than I realized. <laughs> um. Wait, ban timeout on mod. Oh, 999 plus messages. Oh, wow. This goes way back in time. 999 plus messages. Holy shit, Minx. You've said a lot of shit to me. 50% probably taking the piss, though. Just in case they say anything sus. Oh, it is probably useful to look at someone's history so you can grab evidence if there's some dodginess going on. More like 75%? Yeah. And the remaining 25% is just laughing at me for singing silly songs that I make up on the spot and barely make sense. Oh, I've still left Archvale open. Holy shit. Wait. How do you... Wait, how do you close a game? Oh, options. Um, how to close game. Oh, wait. Okay. I was streaming it over the Microsoft Cloud server from their pretend console, so you actually have to kind of like force quit the app, not the game itself. That makes sense. Okay. See this? I've got six games that I need to fit in at the moment, which sounds like a clusterfuck, but is more doable than it sounds. Because that game that I was playing just then is a two stream game. Um, the next two games are going to be are both going to be one stream games, like one offs. So that's three games down. Then there's a there's a two stream game. Probably another two stream game. Yeah, seven. And then Mortal Shell, which is a two or three. Two or three. What is that one? 10 to 19 hours. Yikes. Potentially two if I was like marathoning, if I was doing long streams, but let's just call that a three. Six, 12, 18. Yeah, okay. Around five to six hour streams, I'd call that a three stream. <sighs> Queen Pushycat's doing emote art at the moment. 
You may want to hop in raid her for your own benefit. Oh, does she um does she uh do some of her like art like that on stream as part of her like art streams? For some reason I didn't, I didn't think to do that cuz I've got like just like a Sunday chill hangout stream that I do where I could instead of just watching trailers I could like hang out in Photoshop or something but I mean I'm not I think it's a bit much doing a an art stream when you're not really an artist I just make a do I just know how to use Photoshop and I fiddle so maybe doing that myself is kind of overkill mm. I have been doing more of my own stuff, um, of which I have up actually uploaded, but you just haven't seen it yet. Because for some reason, a lot of my stuff is being held for fairly long periods of time. Those basic emotes that I made, just dicking around with my photos, have finally gone up. They've finally appeared. Um, but I would like to do more with those. I've got other ideas. I'm going to like take some of those basic ones I've got up now, the black and white photos of me, I'm going to take some of them back down and I'm going to add more to them. Like more emo emoji stuff. You know how like you see with the the text on some of them that say raid or hype or GG and that kind of stuff. I'm going to experiment with that a bit. But I did two more animated ones and I uploaded them, but they haven't appeared yet. Um... I reckon I could smash out the rest that I need to do in one day if I just did nothing but that, if I didn't have any paid editing work going on. Every time you're on, you check the channel points for Biscoff eating. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. Someone else did mention that as well, that I should, um, I should make more challenge, uh, channel point spending stuff. I could do that though, but the danger of doing something like that is that if I let other people control how often I eat Biscoff, I could very easily ruin Biscoff for myself. Like, I might eventually end up disgusted with Biscoff. What was the other one? Um, there's a drink water one. I think, um, I forget who it was. It might have been, it was either Sham or Tanky. I'm not sure. It was one of them. Um, pretty sure. Mentioned that um, on other friend streams they go on, they save all their bits, all their channel points up, so they can just mass claim the hydrate one, just to basically drown their friend in water. Drink and stretch. I don't know if I like the stretch one. I don't like stretching. I don't like um, massages either. For some reason, I'm not a big fan of, um, what's the word? Relieving tension. Let's call it that. You know, people who go get massages a lot and are big on, um, paying for professional massage are all about like relieving tension in their back and their joints and ligaments and all that crap and their muscles. Um, and they swear by it. For some reason it's never worked for me. I've had massages before and it just, I'm just like. I don't really get it. It feels like someone pushing on my shit. That's a weird way to say that. On my body parts. I'm like, I don't need someone kneading my back or my spine like it's putty or Play-Doh. Maybe you're just too laid back. I think it's the opposite. I think... Um, I think when it comes to things like anxiety and stress and just general tension, I think I'm so used to living my entire life with at maximum tension that I don't appreciate having any tension relieved because like I need it. That's how I function. Like use that shit. You have a chiropractor stop your migraines. Well, that's actually functional. Like you actually have a, a chiropractor using massage to achieve something that you need because migraines are fucked up. I'm not a person who gets migraines or really headaches very often at all it's pretty rare for me to get a headache but um i've known plenty of people including my mum, who get migraines and i know how 
I know how intense that is. Like I've had them explain to ex describe to me before of how brutal a migraine can be. I mean, it would have to be for it to have its own name outside of just headache. It's like having a stroke. Yeah, there you go. You can't lift your arm or see. You know what? That's scary because having a migraine, which sounds like it might be co like regular for you, puts you in a position where you never know if you're having an actual stroke or not, which is much more dangerous. Because if you're having a stroke, that could result in, in, in killing you. But if you constantly have migraines that feel like having a stroke, you've got no idea how serious what's happening to you actually is. I'm guessing you drink a lot of water, Minx. Because <laughs> I know... I don't know if that's supposed to be a good deterrent for migraines. Because I know people always talk about uh, drinking lots of... Hydrating regularly to keep headaches away. But like migraine is like the next level headache. So I'm not sure if that even gives a shit whether you're hydrated or not. It does help? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was so powerful. It was the kind of thing where, like, hydration didn't even matter when it came to migraines. If it would, if you're going to get a migraine, it would just happen regardless for other medical reasons. Hub. Okay. That'll be it then. It can be triggered by weather. I get, I guess, I guess, um, I get that it can be triggered by stress. That makes sense. But weather, what the fuck? Is that because like there's a change in like the barometric pressure, like a literal pressure change? Your brain can like feel that shit. It's kind of like when you go up in a plane and your ears pop. That's nuts. The fact that the brain is that sensitive to things like the atmosphere changing around you. Even if you're in the same like location you normally are. Strobe lighting too. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So stay away from like games and animes that have that um, seizure warning at the start. Same diff essentially. You take headache tablets before you go to the cinema? Oh, fuck. I guess it's a similar... Not as... I mean, this is not as bad, but it's similar to how um, some people that suffer from nausea and inner ear stuff a lot have to carry around um, like the anti-nausea tablets. Because anytime they're in a car, like watching a certain thing... Like anything can make you nauseous. So you do you get sleepy when you have a headache? I find a, it's the opposite for me. If I have a headache, I'm not. I don't get drowsy. Headaches are annoying. It keeps me awake. A migraine hangover. Oh my god. I didn't even know that was a thing. This just gets worse and worse. Okay. On that note, being s I'm going to go to bed now being really sad for me. For you mix because <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like a miserable way to live your life worrying about migraines ambushing you every fucking other day for like every other reason I have them for 23 years and not died yet oh you i guess you do get used to that shit 
it's kind of like um things like self-hatred and depression and just general cynicism and negativity like i've lived most of my life with that and i'm pretty high functioning you know what i mean a lot of people are like wow are you gonna do something about depression it's like nope don't need to um it's pretty much the status quo if i knew what to do about that type of stuff i would have done it long times ago long, long time ago that's why you always wear black no i like i just like black because it's nice i find um lots of color to be a little gaudy i feel bad for the lgbt community because their whole aesthetic is the rainbow and i hate the rainbow <laughs> I hate that whole rainbow color scheme shit. It's just like, that's too many primary colors. What, blue, red, green, yellow, purple, all of the shit at the same time? Fuck that. Oh my god. If I was gay, I'd be so sad. I'd be like, no, I ain't doing the rainbow thing. I'll come down to Mardi Gras once you make that shit monochrome. Actually, no, that's a lie, because I've been to Mardi Gras two or three times in Sydney. And, um... That's a dead, that's a dead lie. <clears throat> My joystick's wilting. What the fuck? The rubber's all peeling off. Walking around in black going gay pride. People would be sus of you. I'm usually in paint. The last time I went, it was all, um, I was painted. I had kind of had like the, um, Della Duel Matos, uh, I've lost it to my brain. Sorry, I'm tired. It's late. The Del Muertos, uh, Mexican Day of the Dead thing. It was kind of like a face and body paint to match that aesthetic. Um, that was the last Mardi Gras thing I was painted in. I got to actually uh, march in the parade once because I was assisting with the camera work, um, which meant I actually get to I got to be on the street with the parade, which was pretty cool. That's a long walk though. If you ever do that, make sure you got good footwear on. Don't do the thing where like you you go with a Mardi Gras look and outfit where you're in some kind of like platform heels or something, and then actually try to march in the in the parade because that's like walking like halfway through the sydney uh sydney city the cbd like like most of the streets memory foam slippers yeah there you go some people are just straight up naked there was a group there at the last one i was at um that was straight up naked they were just literally their entire bodies were just painted it was just body paint from a distance you you might not notice but as you get like medium distance to close you're like oh that's just titties it's just titties all out no one needs to see that from me well that's the funny thing it, it was all it was a it was a lesbian group um a particular like lesbian parade group no men and i think that's why because i don't think the i don't think the body paint thing works for men because you can't exactly paint away a dick well, that is kind of obvious regardless of whether it's painted or not Whereas um, fits and vagina, they kind of vanish under good body paint. Like it just looks like clothes from a distance. You actually have to be within speaking distance to someone to realize that, to actually see the body definition of your of their parts, to realize that they're just painted. If you were walking around naked with bright paint, if you weren't suffering from migraines, you would be. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means, but I'll take your word for it. <sighs> okay. I'll leave it off there then. I gotta get good sleep, get some work done tomorrow as fast as possible, so I'm ready for finishing this game tomorrow night. Yeah. Thanks for the chat. Um, and sharing the misery. I've learned more about how bad migraines are for people. Every time I hear about migraines, I learn more bull like horrible bullshit about it. 
I'm just glad I don't deal with it. With the amount I look at screens for work and leisure, if I was the kind of person that suffered from lots of headaches and migraines, it would it would ruin my life. Although as it stands, I'm probably going to end up with um, some form of brain cancer from all the screen radiation before I'm 50. But that's fine. You look at screens all day, you have three right now. I have five. My computer is a three screen setup. The laptop is running OBS from a separate machine, so that's four. And I have a stand with my phone right here. So technically I'm surrounded by five separate screens right now. So I got you beat. But I've also got you beat to the brain cancer by the time we're 50. Which I'm totally okay with because nobody wants to live long like, fuck getting to 89 years old and being decrepit with your brain, like, becoming all Alzheimer's and stuff. Nah. If I start getting to that point, I'm just going to pull walk on myself. Go out like a spectacle. Become a pretty radical statistic. Why not? I want to get eaten by a dinosaur. That'd be a good statistic. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Minx. <laughs> Good chat. I'll see you next time. Bye.